My name is Jeff. <laughs> okay, all right. We're cutting that out, right? <laughs> no. Fuck. All right. Uh, oh, gosh darn. Do any anyway, um, episode two, Media Banter, starring John and Mark. I put my name before him because I'm more important. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last episode, we d- kind of discussed uh, animated movies we like. And, and during that, we mentioned Pixar, and we were like, all right, we got to do an episode on Pixar because we've got a lot to say, right? And uh, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, most of it is negative. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, let's just get started. Um, so, I think John, it makes what do you sense. Think of Pixar? Oh, Pixar. Honestly, okay, a lot of it's extremely nostalgic. That's like the first thing anybody says about Pixar. But a lot of it currently mm-hmm. is just kind of garbage. <laughs> In my opinion, yep, it basically complete. turned into Disney mm-hmm. 2 a lot of the time. I don't want to say that all well, of their problems are because they, they were bought from Disney, but it certainly didn't make anything easier. Well, I, w- I wanted to get into it later, but uh, oh, I fuck. think I've heard something about uh, a lot of the Pixar employees and Disney like animation people getting shuffled around. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of like what they are doing to... Oh my god, this is almost unrelated, but like I, it pissed me off so bad. When they put the devs of Crash Bandicoot 4... To work on Call of Duty, oh Warzone my god! Yeah. Instead of making like that, just pissed me off so bad, and that's kind of what's happening to Pixar. As well. Yeah, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. You can really tell yeah. in a lot of the quality because, like, I honestly haven't bothered to watch like the last four of their movies. I know that's unprofessional, oh, but I, I just did not bother. I, I've hate watched like all of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> um What were you were gonna say something before I cut you off? I'm sorry. I'm sure it was not important. I do not remember. You may continue. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, so uh, first of all, let's just briefly mention like what our personal relationships are with Pixar. So I kind of grew up on their movies. Uh, oh, real like, original, Mark. You grew up on movies. Pixar? Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I I really love the... My favorites are The Incredibles, and obviously, and uh, probably mm-hmm. Ratatouille. Yeah. Now you say your favorites. Okay, yeah, The Incredibles. Like, no fucking question. Incredibles yeah. <laughs> is objectively the best Pixar movie. You watch it today, it yeah. still holds up extremely well. And um, I and, honestly... Um, the... Yeah, go ahead. Wally and Monsters, Inc. as well, uh, right after. I was going to mention Wally. Good. I love okay. Wally as well. Wally's really uh, good. I rewatched it recently. Wally is amazing, yeah. Wally's And that was their last good movie. Pretty much, That yeah. was their last good movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know... I, I think it's really telling that when it, the reason I thought of Pixar while we were doing the Ghibli episode, right, is when um, mm-hmm. I mentioned Big Hero 6 because I had it on my TV because I just like having movies in the background. Oh, nice. And Big Hero 6 isn't a Pixar movie. It's a Disney it's not, movie yeah, and you can't even tell. You can't <laughs> even tell because modern Pixar movies are just the same as like all the Disney ones and the Disney ones are mm. very, very bland and boring. It's a very uh, Hideo yeah. Kojima, I'm making Disney 2 scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Hideo Kojima made Big Hero 6, which you mean? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course he did. That's why it's so garbage. Anyway, that's a great yeah. idea for an episode, because I've played none of them, and I don't intend to, and you've played a lot of Hideo them. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> no, I've played, I've played um, Metal Gear 5 and Death Stranding. Death Stranding doesn't it. count as a game. Ah, you haven't anyway, played it. I have not played it. <laughs> anyway, okay, off topic. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought it would be better to start from actually the worst on this one. We sort of started with the ones we liked with yes. the Miyazaki episode. Let's start with the bottom. Yep. So yeah, um, and uh, gushing over things is exhausting. So let's start <laughs> from the bottom. All right. So we both said uh, yeah. What's before your least before we started, we movie? actually before we started, we're like, okay, we got to name our least favorites and which one to start with. And like we said, yeah. uh, the exact same movie at the exact same time, and it was <laughs> Toy Story. Toy 4. Story Four. Toy Story 4 sucks so much. Absolute Uh, vile film. (laughs) (laughs) Toy Story 4. It's not even like... I don't even like think it's like a terribly made movie. I just hate what it represents within the company. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to do this episode kind of like what we did with Miyazaki once where we just go over and... Because that was more about the individual movies. This one I think is about Pixar as a whole. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Toy Story 4... It's it's it perfectly represents what they are now. They're just a they're just a cash cow, right? Essentially, mm-hmm. that's what they are. Nobody wanted to make it. Nobody, nobody wanted, wanted to nobody, watch like, it. Who, nobody ca- nobody who cares about who genuinely cares about like the art of like filmmaking or whatever actually wanted to see it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Tom Hanks gave an interview where he's like, "Oh yeah, I couldn't uh, couldn't film the last uh, scene of Toy Story four like record it without crying or something. I had to do it in private." And I'm just like, "Man, f- fuck you! <laughs> Shut the fuck 
up. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I don't know. We love I Tom like Hanks, but now. yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, we we do love Tom Hanks. He's got like this annoyingly likable air about him, but he just always rubbed me wrong. He seems like a clay figure trying it's to. It's manufactured. Act. Yeah. Exa- exactly. Exactly. He feels like right? he's like he's like a white Will Smith, where his entire yeah. life is just acting, and he seems so fake and way too nice. Like if I were to see this exactly. man in public, I think he was a pedophile because he's way too nice. <laughs> you, know, you know exactly what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I don't buy it. Yeah, you know? exactly. I like uh, public personas of a bit of spice, you know, <laughs> of a bit of like, oh, okay, this guy seems like a real, like Quentin Tarantino seems like a real person, you know, because he's because he's a really real, weird. a real shitty <laughs> person. But yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, exactly. You don't got wait no you don't got the answer sorry that's Kanye never mind I get the mix up in my head they're basically w- yeah. wait well I, I take Anyways, it back wow uh, want to hear a want to hear a comparison I have for Toy Story four this sounds fascinating let's uh, just hear to, it. just to put in perspective how much it sucks it reminded me of uh, Open Season three <laughs> have you ever seen Open Season three I, is that the one where they go to like the dog park yes that is such a garbage <laughs> movie yeah good 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 comparison okay. yeah but it's probably better than toy story 4 right because at least it was directed dvd yeah sure all right i'll give it points <laughs> and and it doesn't have a it doesn't have a 98 and rotten tomatoes <laughs> i think <laughs> like it says toy that story on the 4. box actually open season 3 better than toy story yeah. 4 i also i watched toy story 4 when i was extremely sick like i could barely get off my bed right and i feel like that that just kind of encapsulates the experience as a whole. It's just like a wet fart of a movie. I watched it fully healthy, <laughs> and I probably had a very similar it. experience than you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you watch it, by the way? I, I was curious. Like it. I loved uh, Toy Story growing up. I loved Toy Story 2. Toy mm. Story 3 is middlingly average to kind of annoyingly bad to me. Uh, uh, and then I watched whoa, Toy Story uh, 4 out of pure curiosity. We'll talk about Toy Story 3 more yeah. later. I don't hate it, but it's really not good. Yeah, uh, Toy Story four. I don't have a lot to say about it because it's the most forgettable movie ever made. It's like just, it's it's, it's literally, f- it's it's literally um one of those Disney direct to DVD sequels, yeah. except it has the budget uh, the budget of like a feature length movie, mm-hmm. right? Like the not gonna lie, like the rain looks really good in this movie. The rain, <laughs> the water looked good. That's all I can mm-hmm. say about it. Yeah, I also it I don't know. It, it, go ahead. You know, uh, one thing that I noticed with a lot of modern Disney as well is that. The animation is polished to an almost like annoying degree. Oh yeah, like it's something yeah, like yeah. I don't know. Like I the, the if you look at Toy Story one, which is like the first CGI feature length film ever, it doesn't. The humans mm-hmm. don't look great, but the toys have a lot of personality to them. You know what I mean? They look mm-hmm. a bit rougher than the Toy Story four variants. But then again, the Toy Story four Obviously. variants, weirdly yeah. enough, look like dolls. <laughs> weirdly enough, they're so mm-hmm. shiny and emotionless, and uh, not the opposite. Sorry, they're actually over emotive in my opinion. To the point yeah, where they actually don't seem emotive at all. That's a problem with a lot of their movies. It's like, um, like, 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 look, look at Shrek, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> keep bringing up Shrek. Shrek's, Shrek yeah. has such, Shrek has such amazingly like expressive characters, but mm-hmm. they, but they seem almost human. Like yeah. they don't overdo it like Disney ones. I feel like Disney movies are made by a bunch of robots who don't know what the emotions <laughs> exactly. are like, so they play it up, you know. <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's so annoying. It's present in older Disney movies as well, like the mm-hmm. 2D animated ones, right? That's yeah, present like there as well. Snowing. But now it's like it's bleeding into Pixar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bleeding into Pixar. That really annoying animation style that's very present in Toy Story mm-hmm. 4. It's like they oversell emotions that aren't even there. Yeah, that's you know the best what way I mean. Like it. it's you didn't you, you didn't earn this. Like this movie is so inconsequential to anything that happens ever in this entire series. And also, it focuses on like my least favorite. character character in any piece of media uh, <laughs> mark made the thumbnail woody. by the way woody mark so made much. the fun- thumbnail so. <laughs> i hate woody so much the fact and that he's voiced like, by tom hanks doesn't help movie. yeah literally yeah. right it's like i don't even hate tom hanks i just hate tom hanks as woody yeah. <laughs> like, you like, know it's just yeah, i remember uh, i first started noticing this like over emotiveness it was actually when you pointed it out in frozen Mm-hmm. That's like the most yeah. egregious, I'd say. Like every character's face is moving a million times a minute, and it's so f- it's so mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't even really know how to describe it. It just looks bad. I really just don't like it. It um, looks terrible. Yeah. It's like it's overcompensating. Yeah. For yeah. The lack exactly. Of actual like good writing and uh yeah good voice performances, which just aren't there. That makes a lot of uh, sense. Yeah. And uh, Toy Story Four again. This is very like. 
not uh, near, we're nowhere near as structured as our Miyazaki one just because yeah, we want to shit on things, right? So, so, <laughs> so, so it's going to be like a bunch of random negative points about these movies and mm-hmm. like what it, why it applies to the company. And so Toy Story 4, I hate like the setting of it. It's all mm-hmm. set in this really like ugly looking park and it, it, <laughs> it, fe- it literally, it, it feels like a, like a directed DVD movie because it has such a small setting and such a small scope and nothing happens of importance at all. And the villain sucks, and you can see who it is from a mile away. It's the same as the villain in Toy Story Three, which is also the same villain as Toy, Toy Story, Story Two. Two. Yep. It's it's so bad. It's, yeah. it. it's just the, yeah. It's just it's difficult to even because yeah. like, we, we're not professional at all, right? So it's not like we we rewatch these in preparation for this, right? So sort of going yeah, off what I'm we remember not from this it. ever. <laughs> I'm which not was just, watching this. Ever. I don't know. It was just it really just feels like yeah, it feels like a factory set movie, which is why it's so shiny. It's literally, it's such mm-hmm. a factory movie. It's made yeah. to pander to people that like Toy Story movies. Yeah. Uh, and I just, like Toy Story movies made... and they didn't even work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's just, it's so pandering. No, you can tell nobody wanted to make it other than maybe like the people who are animating the water or whatever the mm-hmm. fuck, right? Yeah. <laughs> but like, it's, yeah, nobody wanted to be there. You know, it's like, what's the point of this? Nobody wants to see it. Nobody wanted to make it. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't understand it. And it made like a billion dollars anyway. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, it's so annoying. Okay, let's move on from yeah. Toy Story Four. We we're expecting this to be a shorter <laughs> episode. We've already spent eleven minutes on just Toy Story Four. Yeah, Toy Story Four. <laughs> so, all right, what's yeah. your what, what? What's the next one you would like to discuss? Toy Story Three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. Nice. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the same things apply. It's Toy Story Three does feel a lot more consequential than Toy mm-hmm. Story 4. It doesn't feel like a directed DVD sequel. It feels like an actual sequel. It's just really bad. Yeah. It's it it has it has every trope I like dislike in kids in animated kids movies. It has the oh, it's the Buzz is the reset and he's doing the Spanish dance and he's very serious even though oh what's happening God. is not very serious at all. Like that shit just pisses me off. Also keep in mind I haven't seen this movie since theaters i saw it when i was nine years old right <laughs> and i remember like everything about it just because i remembered like just having a disdain for it <laughs> <laughs> nice i really and, don't hate it as um, much as mark does but i really don't like yeah. it either yeah you you know you, you know like the two points of contention from you of this movie let's hear them yeah so the villain is the yeah. worst thing in oh the yeah like it's <laughs> so cliched and Oh, look at him. He's like a cuddly teddy bear, but he's actually evil. It's like, it's oh, it's so obvious. It's so... It's just, I don't know. What I, think, I found right? really annoying is yeah. that, I'm sure you were, you're probably going to bring this up, but I'm going to bring it up before you do, because fuck you. Mm-hmm. But they did the exact same Toy Story... The Toy Story 2 villain they used three times. It's ridiculous. Yes. Where Toy yeah. Story 2, it's like, oh, he's your buddy. He's like a little weird. He's like... Oh, kind of funky, but yeah. he's like a nice guy. And at the end, it's like, wait, he's evil. That's crazy. That's insane. They did that with they did that with yeah. Stinky Pete in Toy Story Two. They did that with Lotso in Toy Story Three, and they did it again with the with the fucking voice activated doll in Toy Story Four. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Stupid, right? They just <laughs> used it three times. It's like, how did they think they would get away with this? And they did. Yeah. Oh, by the way, spoiler warning. Oh, oh spoiler warning. Seen all of yeah. These. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As if you haven't, we're very professional. No, and even Toy Story <laughs> Three is like the very definite. It's literally just a copy paste of Toy Story Two. That's the main thing I I hate about Toy Story Three. Like, it's but it's so much just, worse. But it is so much worse. <laughs> exactly. No, it, just because you do something yeah. again, it's like I remember Yahtzee brought up a really interesting uh, dichotomy. This is actually about Dark Souls, right? Where he described Dark Souls mm-hmm. One as oh, wow. a giant plate of uh, jelly donuts, right? Just mm-hmm. assuming you like Dark Souls, okay? And then when you're discussing mm-hmm. Dark Souls 2, it's like he just finished an entire plate of jelly donuts and they bring in a second plate of jelly donuts. And it's like, <laughs> he's already got jam on his he's already got jam on his hands. He already feels disgusted with himself. And you're telling him, yeah, and here's it's another like plate. rotten jelly donuts too. Exactly. So that's like Toy Story 3. Spoiled jelly donuts. Assuming donuts, Toy Story yeah. 3 was an equal quality to Toy Story 2, it just wouldn't feel, it just would taste, your, your mouth already tastes like jam. So it just kind of tastes bad. Yeah. And also, it's it's extra bad for me because I never give a shit about these toys, anyways. Right? <laughs> they're fucking they're, they're toys. Who gives a shit? Um, like, <laughs> I'll care about a fucking um, I don't know. A what's robot? like a weird thing in a Ghibli movie? I'll care um, about like a little like witch delivering bread or whatever. Right? <laughs> I, I I'm not gonna. I, I know that that's a bad argument because I care about other anthropomorph anthropomorphic. Yeah, I was gonna like, bring that up. Don't you love Wally? You fuck things. Yeah, I love Wally, but <laughs> in these movies, I don't give a shit about the toys like mm-hmm. at all. I just don't care. Buzz is cool. I like Buzz. I like the the best Pixar movie is uh the what's that? The what's Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Buzz? <laughs> 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 oh, 
That's the best Damn Pixar it. movie. Yeah, I don't even know great. if it's made by Pixar. I don't think it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I also I want to apologize if there's a bunch of like like weird noises coming out of it. Like it's it, like there's a lot of lip smacking I noticed in the previous episode. That's because I have braces on. So yeah, he's a vile that's human being. Wanting. That's no, all you need. He's just yeah, gross. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's, I just want to apologize. So, yeah, so, Toy Story three um, is just a copy paste of Toy Story two, and it sucks. So there's not much to say about it. It's yeah, just kind of and. Uh, do you want to hear my main point of contention of this? No. It's extremely unprofessional. I said and no. Very, very f- biased. All right, let's hear yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely unprofessional and very, very biased. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm really bothered when when people fall for like pandering. You know what I mean? Oh, I know like, exactly what you're about to bring up. Yeah, go yeah, for yeah. It. You <laughs> know what scene I'm about to? I know exactly what you're about to talk about. Up, like yeah. where they all hold hands and they're about like, yeah. how did? Adults cry during that. They're not gonna die. <laughs> I was a kid. And I was like, they're not they killing won't. off these toys. There's so much. They make so much money. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like the amount of stories I hear where adults are like, "Oh, I cried at the part in Toy Story where they were all about to die and they held hands." That scene is such a manipulative it's... garbage. That's like so. It's like I cr- I cried during a scene while watching The Incredibles like last year. I'll oh. tell you which one later. Okay, I'm very interested. Um, I don't know what you'd find. That did not feel manipulative at all, mm-hmm. right? Like, this feels like it's just there to get the audience to cry so that they tell their friends that they cried and so that they go see the movie and pay for it. <laughs> that's they're really not gonna, true. They weren't going to kill those toys ever. Like, mm-hmm. I, they're not going to... Oh my god, it's it pisses me off. Yeah, the scene in The Incredibles I was talking about, do you remember the scene where Bob is, like, about to go fight the thing, the big uh, thing at the end, and then... Uh, and then he's like, he has his head down, and he's like, I don't, I, I don't know if I. Have oh, I'm not strong enough. Oh, that's right. a good scene. Yeah, 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 go, yeah. On, go on. I actually like, I never, like, I never got emotional over that movie as a kid, but I was watching it like last year or something, and I mm. cried during that scene. Yeah, that's, that's an amazing scene. Like that's you're a little pussy bitch, manipulated. but that's a good scene. That's not like that's not. Oh, these characters are about to die, even though we all know they're not. Mm-hmm. That was genuinely like character growth and yeah. character payoff. That wasn't just random bullshit to to make the plebs cry. In the they're theater. also real people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not yeah. like they're well, not, not like literally, t- not literally. Well, you know what yeah. I mean. They're 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 supposed to represent real people, not like toys. It, no, it's not just that. Like you know, I can get. A, I cried during the ending of Wally when I was rewatching it last year. God, too. you're such a Those loser. What? I know, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like I should I shed a tear. It was a cute. Yeah, yeah. The it's, ending it's of Wally. Really... Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Like, I know. That's actually that's a good point because they pretend Wally dies at the end of Wally as well too, right? Mm-hmm. And it is pretty. But short. That was I don't very know, effective. Yeah, that was very it also effective. it sort of added to like the urgency of the scene as well. Exactly. Yeah, that, it sort that, of made it had feel a reason more intense. To it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in Toy Story, I'm just like, wow, all these stupid looking toys are just holding hands and adults are crying because they're idiots. Anyways, that, that's my piece on Toy Story. I was 3. actually going to bring this up later <laughs> when talking about Monsters Inc. But I might as well bring it up yeah. now because it's relevant to Wally as well. But Pixar really loves doing this mm-hmm. sort of bait and switch thing because they want to make yes. the kitties feel sad. They do it they every also, movie. They they also they want to make the kitties feel sad, but they don't want to make them feel too sad to not buy toys, right? So as much they, as I love Monsters, they want to make yeah. Go on, go on. Mm-hmm. They make the kitties feel sad without committing. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's exactly yeah. what happens. Mm-hmm. So as much as I love Monsters yeah. Inc, I really feel like it would be a much better movie without the last without the last five minutes or so, because mm. uh, we're completely out of structure. Holy yes. shit! But uh, there's yeah, this yeah, yeah. there's this scene near the end where they have to shred Boo's door, right? Because it's not right for a kid to have imaginary monster friends, right? Yes. She'll be seen as an outcast in school. It just and won't be good for just... her. And then so there so there's this really sad scene that genuinely feels a bit emotional where he says goodbye to the kid and then they yeah. shred her door and then like in the last five minutes mm-hmm. of the movie they're like ah eh, fuck it bring the door back it's so yeah stupid. we can't have the kids actually cry. no joke I really feel like without the last five minutes of that movie that movie is so much better because that last five minutes really pissed yes. me off as an adult it yeah, really just didn't yeah. commit to anything it was pathetic it was, it really made me mad Pixar third acts in general are. Usually awful. That's very true. I have They're to agree usually with really that. bad. Yep. Uh, we'll get more into that later with uh, Monsters Inc. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Do you want to go to the next one? I think I've said my piece on Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story Three. 3. Uh, it's it's just... just Toy Story Two, but bad. There's not much to say. Toy Story Two, but bad. Very manipulative. Mm-hmm. Very fake. Uh, mm-hmm. Faker than the actual toys in the movie, which I feel like plastic. it's. I feel like it's an actual enjoyable yeah. experience outside from Toy Story Four. If you turn your brain mm-hmm. off for a bit, well, Toy Story 4, even if your brain's yeah. off, it's just miserable. So, that's why yeah, I Toy don't Story hate... Story 4 is, Toy Story 4 is really boring. Yeah, yeah, Toy Story 4 is so boring. 
Mm-hmm. That's why I don't hate Toy Story 3, but I sort of hate what it represents as well. It's sort of like the yeah, beginning yeah, yeah. of Toy Story. F- yeah, you know what I mean? Literally the precursor and to Toy Story I, 4. And also, I'm sorry, I hate Andy. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I, <laughs> I hate, no, it's true. I hate how much Woody cares about Andy. Like, that's, <laughs> that's one of my main points of contention with Woody mm-hmm. as a character. I'm like, oh my god, you... You beta cock, like you <laughs> fucking, you fucking. No, they peaked with human Buzz characters with Sid, shit. and it's just gone downhill since there. Yeah, Sid was awesome. Look at look at look at Buzz. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't, he doesn't care. care when the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty yeah, funny. I love Buzz. Buzz is great. Yeah, it's Buzz so is cool. Star Command movie is great. <laughs> Patrick <damn> Warburton. <laughs> they didn't get Patrick Warburton for the movie, man. They got him for Star Command. They right? got him for the show. Yeah. Very oh, weird. Yeah, you know Buzz is going to be voiced by Chris Evans next year? For what? They're doing a standalone Buzz Lightyear movie. Oh, wait, based? What? I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. I mean, Chris Evans I will is good definitely... casting for him. But yeah, like... no, I, it's <laughs> interesting. It's weird that they didn't yeah. ask Tim Allen to come back, probably, because I think he touched somebody. Oh, really? Probably. <laughs> Look at him. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk about Toy Story right. 1 and 2 later, just because those are somewhat positive. Yeah. Uh, I want to discuss... I barely remember guess, them. Can you guess what's the next one I want mm-hmm. to discuss? This is the one I was most excited to talk about. All right, hold on. Let me guess, let me guess. Yeah. Uh, up. Yes! <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this was like not scripted yeah, at all. Sucks. You just kind of guessed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I looked up my list of movies, uh, of Pixar movies that I've seen, and I guessed up. <laughs> nice. Because I, I know you have a huge issue with Oh, my be your God. Toy Story 3. Yeah, literally. I, I fucking hate Up so much. It is the epitome <laughs> of manipulation. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, yeah. the first 10 minutes is probably a genuinely pretty decent short film. I think it's decently yeah. manipulative. But at the same time, some of it, it does is very pretty manipulative. Earned. Yeah. Like, like yeah. The, the way that there's no dialogue, and then there's the sad piano music. Uh, I still enjoy mm-hmm. it as a short film, but it really feels like it's like, hey guys, you're supposed to be sad, right? So it puts like yeah. this sh- short, sad film in the first 10 minutes, and then there's like an hour and a half of just bullshit. It's like genuinely an oh, awful it's film. Like, it's like it's like a bad elimination movie yeah. after the first 10 minutes. <laughs> it's like a really bad elimination so movie. Like, it's the same like dynamic. Yeah. So if they, I, I still enjoy the, uh, like the way the characters were presented, about how he's this quiet mm-hmm. little Martin Scorsese lookalike. And there's this yeah. weird kid who lives on the street. I thought that if they released the first 10 minutes as like a short film, I would have been like, yeah, that's a pretty mm-hmm. decent short film. Good for them. But then yeah. it just goes on for an hour and a half. And there's some bullshit with this little kid yeah. who's like, oh, you're old. You I know? need to help you do stuff. And then there's these balloons with the house. And they meet some sort of weirdo with birds. It's such bullshit. It is so dumb. It felt like they were making shit up you, as you they know, went along. Um, I'm sorry, Mark, continue. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You go, go ahead, ahead, Mark. Go ahead. I'm done. Um... Yeah, you know the the moment I knew this movie was bullshit when What's they introduced here? the talking dog. <laughs> yeah, oh that's my it. God. That's all I had to say. You go ahead. You yeah, go, I know that's basically it. It's like, oh, heckin' and fluffy yeah. doggo. That's heckin' cute and <laughs> pupper. Oh my God, I don't know. This is it's the epitome of manipulation. They just toss in this sad ten minute short so that you care about this fucker for the rest of the hour and a half while he does nothing. Mm. And it's annoying. Yeah. it's stupid and it's boring. And it's probably yeah. like my least like. Not my least favorite. I still think Toy Story 4 is worse, but this one's like either second or yeah. third least favorite. I hate At up. least it's an original story. You yeah, know? I'll At give least. them that much. It, it's not It's not original, but it's a, yeah. It's not like a fourth sequel to fucking yeah. fourth sequel. If they come out the with up two, they... I'm actually shooting myself in the head. Like, do, genuinely. Bro, do, do you think, like... Do you think, do you think that when they were pitching Toy Story 4, like, to the studio, like, the the studio head or whatever wrote to- Toy Story, and then the number four, like, on the whiteboard, and as he was writing four, like, three people in the studio just stood up and left. Like, do you think that happened? <laughs> I'm just imagining that in my head right now. Like, I totally see it happening. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, I'm done here. But yeah, I don't know. Again, yeah, not no, much to say sucks. about Up. It's just decent short film, abysmal rest of it it's just it's so bad it's such, i really hate it it's such a generic kids yeah movie. it's such a generic kids movie it's literally like it's literally like a like an elimination movie after after the mm. first 10 minutes it's yeah yeah it's really it's, bad the, the, the comedy sucks the talking dog is sucks. Ugh, it's so uh, the fucking the villain is awful in this <laughs> movie the yeah. villain is so bad yeah yeah i don't have a lot of constructive criticism on this it's episode, not it's but, just bad yeah it's just so <laughs> bad <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah that, that's that's right. all I'm gonna talk about. Up, yeah. it doesn't deserve any more of our time. It's just I hate it. It's weird so much. how. Anyways, yeah. So up. Um, I remember what's really weird about these is the ones I really don't like. Uh, I've seen 
I've seen Up once when I was like 12 years old, and I remember most of it really well <laughs> to know why I don't like it. Like Toy Story it's 3. It's really weird. You saw it once when you were 9, Even you though, still remember it. Yeah, exactly. Even yeah. though I enjoyed both Toy Story 3 and Up at the time, I remember mm-hmm. them enough so, to know I dislike them now yeah. without having to rewatch them. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just... It's very weird. Um, <laughs> all right. Anyways, the mm-hmm. uh, next one. Can I pick? Yes, go for it. Yeah, this one. Th- this one I absolutely hate. Cars. What do you oh, think this of cars? is an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, like in a meme kind of way now. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Owen Wilson's it's just, just oh, oh my god. Oh wow, good chow. I am speed. Wow. <laughs> it's 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 pretty funny. But yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let yeah. you get started, uh, and then I'm yeah. going to go. So yeah, you go for it. Can I just say, this is the worst Pixar protagonist of all time. <laughs> Lightning McQueen is like the worst character, <laughs> like worse than Woody ever. I I I really like Owen Wilson, but for some reason his voice just pisses me off on this car specifically. <laughs> on this car, you know, like it's <laughs> yeah. The the world makes no sense. Yeah. It, how did they do anything without like <laughs> with wheels? It's so stupid. I, know, and, I like uh, to view it as like a post-apocalyptic yeah. world where the cars come to life and all the humans <laughs> that built everything died. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> explanation that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the world makes no sense. It feels like this didn't come out, out of anybody's like cre- creativity. It's just mm-hmm. there to sell toys. That's like their first. Yeah. I think this is their downfall. This is their first movie that sells toys. That, that to, like They made specifically to sell toys. Like More so than Toy Story, weirdly enough. Uh, <laughs> Toy Story, they actually um, just made out of like genuine. Um, they were in, out of technological inability. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's why they made interesting. them. I like, yeah. 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 Like, they realized they couldn't make them move yeah. like humans. They can make them move almost like dolls. And go, oh, let's just make them dolls. Because, like, you look at the humans exactly, in Toy Story yeah. 1, they're terrifying. Oh, <laughs> And so it Tintoy? works. Uh, no, we're not going to bring up Tin Toy. Please don't bring up Tin Toy. <laughs> we're not going to discuss Tin Toy. <laughs> we're not going to discuss Tin Toy. There's nothing to say about Tin Toy. Yeah. Tin Toy is scarier yeah. than any, any any horror movie I've ever seen. Just... Yes. It's, I'm sure it's on yep. YouTube. If you're curious, look it up. I do not want to discuss it. It's psychological horror. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but it sort of works for it because Sid is like the main villain and he's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, he looks like the guy from Midsommar. <laughs> the, the, the or guy. from Bandersnatch, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty which, funny. Which he, he got bullied too. off of he's Twitter because like people keep saying he looked like him. It was pretty funny. No, he like wore a, he wore a shirt with Sid on it, like in a picture I saw once. So it was pretty funny. Okay, that's pretty funny. My bad. But yeah, cars. Uh, anyways, uh, this yes. movie's really stupid and yeah. dumb, and it has no heart. Like th- th- that's the one bad. Th- like all the bad Pixar movies, they're bad because they have no heart. You don't feel mm-hmm. like anybody made it because they wanted to make something. Mm-hmm. They they made it to make a movie and make money. You know, and yeah, this is exactly. like the epitome of. The- Cars 2 I didn't even finish watching even as a kid because it was so bad I couldn't finish watching it. And Cars 3 I've seen most of and it's like what do you expect, you know? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. It didn't even, it didn't even feel like a Pixar movie. It felt like again one of those direct to DVD sequels that they yeah. did. It's just it's so bad. Yeah. It's like I can't even believe Pixar made that. It's mm-hmm. it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, um yeah, Car, yeah, Car, Car sucks. I go for now? It's, it's also their longest movie. It's also really? their longest movie. Actually, I just no, want to no, mention no. that. It's like it's like 2 hours long. It's wow, insane. it does not deserve yeah, go ahead, it. go ahead. Yeah, I don't have as many negative feelings as Mark does, just because a lot of it is tied mm-hmm. to nostalgia to me. Because I was shown it at mm-hmm. the perfect age, where essentially if car go vroom vroom, I'm like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I yeah. thought it was really cool as a kid. And I actually fell for it. I actually have a Cars toy that still survived all this time. I have so many. <laughs> Even though you hated Cars, <laughs> so it's just, just the ha- you had to get toys, right? I actually forgot to preface this. Mm-hmm. This is probably the movie I've watched the most as a kid, like, ever. Interesting. That's why I remember it so well. That's why I resent it so much now. <laughs> this was this movie was such a huge part of my childhood. Like, <laughs> holy, I can't even... I, I want to throw it out of my head, but I can't because it's so ingrained in there because I've seen it, like, 300 times. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Yeah. yeah, it this really was a huge part of my childhood. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it strikes me as somebody wrote a script about like race car driving drivers, and they realized yeah. no kid is gonna watch that bullshit. Wait. That's boring as fuck. It's animated. Exactly. They're like, wait, you, you're a moron. No kid is gonna watch that boring bullshit. No adult's gonna watch that boring bullshit. So they're yeah, like, okay, yeah. give the cars sonic eyes, make them talk, <laughs> cast Owen Wilson. Bam, kids will watch it. Adults will buy their kids toys of it. So it's yeah. also yeah, and, it's like, um, yeah. 
Michael Keaton, Chick Hicks. I just want to remember remind you. Wait, Michael Keaton's in? You're joking. <laughs> Michael Keaton is Chick Hicks. Oh my! F- oh my God. <laughs> Michael, why? <laughs> so interesting. Two episodes Anyways, in a row, uh, and we discuss Michael Keaton. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, when do we not? Okay, good point. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. not much to say about Cars. It's certainly bad, but I can't really hate it for similar reasons mm-hmm. as Mark. Is that it really held up a lot of part of a lot of my childhood. I'm sure if I rewatch it now, it's going to be abysmal. But that's kind of why I don't want to rewatch yeah. it. I sort of um, want to preserve the image I have of it. Yeah, it's it's nowhere near as bad as the ones we discussed prior. I don't mm-hmm. actually hold that much resentment to it. It's just funny. To, like it just it every time I see funny. Lady McQueen, I get pissed off. <laughs> but I don't think it's like. I don't think this movie is like everything that's wrong with Pixar right now. You know, it doesn't yeah. really represent that, other than the fact that it's just made to sell toys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, I still think they're it's still like, selling it's a toys. It's decent of them. story. It's a decent story. Yeah. Like it's it's not that bad. The characters are fun. I think Mater is great. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are they us? Are they're, Mater they're most and Lady McQueen? Us? Fuck! Why am I Mater? <laughs> oh God damn it! They're definitely us though. Yeah. Of course, yeah. You're Mater. <laughs> of course, I'm Mater. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, so that's Cars. That's kind of when Pixar started to slip a bit and made a movie just to sell toys and not because anybody wanted to make a movie, yeah. even though apparently this is Pixar CEO's favorite like property of theirs. But really? That's bullshit. Probably because it was able yeah, to pay yeah, for yeah. their for their Mercedes. Exactly. <laughs> oh, speaking of Mer- speaking of Mercedes, did I tell you my mom my mom got one? You did, so she can <laughs> drive over. Yeah. To n- <laughs> not nothing, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's pretty sick. I'm pretty proud of her. Wow, nice. Yeah. I've got a good price. Anyway, anyway she's uh, a respectful lady, and I hope she has a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Anyway, so I don't think we want to discuss t- Cars two or three at all. I think everyone kind of knows uh, they're bad. Have you seen Cars two? I have seen Cars two. Is because Cars two the spy one? Yes. Cars two, I have seen. I don't think I've actually even seen Cars three. I did not. Cars bother. two is abysmal. Cars two is so Cars bad. 2- Cars to like like Toy Story three I I hate on like mm-hmm. a moral level right and on an ethical level <laughs> interesting <laughs> but, yeah fair enough it, but it's watchable uh-huh. you know you can sit through it and have a decently mild mildly like entertaining time Cars two is actual torture yeah like, Cars two is I, I hate spy movie watchable. cliches I hate the fact that they're cars yeah. and they're spies it's so dumb like I don't know who thought mm-hmm. this was a good idea. I don't know who it's for. Like, yeah. <laughs> like kids know. haven't watched James Bond. They don't get what you're laughing at. And adults don't think yeah, it's funny. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, next movie. Uh, you, you you bring one up. Which one? Actually, do you okay, up? this is going to be a short one. Uh, Brave. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. You I go. cannot, I cannot <laughs> bring myself to hate it. Because it is objectively the most boring one, I want to say. It is the really? least memorable. I, I do not remember anything. It's just the Scottish broad, and she's like, go on, sorry? Yeah, Scottish broad. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I still can't believe it's a Pixar movie. It seems like such a Disney movie. <laughs> right, it's got yeah. got a princess and everything. Oh yeah. my god, it's literally like, ooh, I'm, I'm a woman, but I like to do man things. And that's the whole movie. <laughs> and it's so, there's this, and the plot isn't so needlessly contrived for such a simple, dumbass story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really. This is going to be short, because that's all I have to say about it. It's boring. Yeah. It is the least memorable of any Pixar I've ever seen. It's, what it's I've so gleaned bad. from Watch Mojo videos about Brave <laughs> seems pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to keep that one short because there's not much to say about Brave at all. It's just You bad. know what it seems like to me? It mm. seems like uh, bad Tangled. Like, it's the same story, right? Ah, but Tangled's also Al- bad. Although, I know you were going to say that. I, I like Tangled a lot. I don't okay, know. Got tangled it. is fun. Tangled is better than most. Tangled is much better movies. than Brave. I will give you that much. Yes, there we go. All right, Tangled is fun at least. It doesn't like try uh-huh. to be unique. It's just kind of a fun movie. That's so, yeah, I don't, yeah, Brave is such a simple yeah. story, and it's so needlessly contrived, and it's so ah, it's just yeah. nothing. I can't even again. I can't be constructive about it. It's just you, I can't even really hate it. it. It's just so boring. Why does it yeah. exist, Mark? You know why it exists? Because uh, they were like, oh, look at our really advanced hair simulations. Oh god, like, it, that here's makes a movie. Sense. The hair looks pretty actually, good. Yeah, actually, I think a lot of like people that work in like Apple or something are also Pixar people. I don't, I don't know. I know there's a lot of crossover Interesting. and uh, they've been, they've been kind of like, they, they've dedicated a lot of the studio to uh, pushing forward animation technology in general, right? Uh-huh. Like CG animation. It's just the product of that varies. Like brave was the hair simulations and that sucked. 
yeah, Finding Nemo was water, right? And Finding Nemo is, f- is great. I love Finding, Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo's awesome. They, they made some good-ass yeah, water yeah, in that yeah. movie. Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some good-ass <laughs> water in that movie. Yeah, the water in Finding Nemo still looks amazing. It's it still it's held up very well. Yeah. yeah. You're being too yeah, positive. Yeah. I watched it in 4K. Bring, we'll I watched what? it in 4K. Ooh, fancy. It looked awesome. It looked great. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah your turn. I haven't seen it. I'm not planning Brain's on it. It's fucking boring. My turn? Don't okay. watch it. Your turn. Uh, let me I want to give that one short. Okay, if you don't come uh, up with one soon, I got a couple. We can talk about we can talk about Finding Dory when we talk about Finding Nemo towards the end. That makes sense to or me. Do you yeah. want to talk about Finding Dory now? No, we can Finding talk about Dory Finding Dory. Is very unremarkable. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much to say. I sort of I want to loop it with Monster U. Those are the next ones I want to talk about, but I think it makes sense to talk them with Monsters yeah. and with Finding Nemo. Okay. So the last um, one left because I sort of split these into three categories: and great, okay, bad, no, and I have one. haven't seen. Oh, what's one? I have one. What's what? What's uh, what do you think of What do you think of Inside Out? Um, it's probably, how, how would I describe it? It's like hot dog water, but hot dog water I drink. Yeah. I thought it you, was extremely, I thought it was extremely pretty basic. It had a really cool concept, obviously, but it was really boring. Yes. And a lot of the movie actually didn't really commit to the concept, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Oh, I so agree. Yeah, can you hear me? By the way, it says my yeah, bars, oh, okay, my nice. Wi-Fi bars are tro- dropping. Yeah, you okay. did for a, you did for a second. You did cut out for a second, but yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so Inside Out, I actually really didn't like it when I when mm. I saw it in the theater because I also did see this one in the theater, and oh, I still nice. don't like it very much. I tried yeah. I tried rewatching it because I'm like, well, it has such good reviews, it's got to be like better than I remember, mm-hmm. right? And then I remembered all Pixar movies have good reviews, even if they're <laughs> bad. Um, so I tried rewatching it. It was really boring. It was yeah, it's it such was. a it's kind of insulting how cool this concept is and how basic this movie is, mm-hmm. you know? It, this movie has the most basic story and characters ever. Oh, it's like, man. the moment they... Okay, spoilers again for Inside Out. Go for it. The moment they kill the elephant, I'm like, oh my god, fuck off. Like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here with this. Finally, he's dead. Get, I know you're gonna get so many people with this... But, like, I'm not buying into your shit, Pixar. Like, I know this is just here to manipulate me emotionally, and I'm not buying into it because it's a fucking imaginary elephant. Who cares? You know? Like... <laughs> a really annoying one by that by that standard. I don't know. Yeah. I was glad when he died. It was sort of like, um... Yeah. Uh, what's that game again called? Shadow of the Colossus. Where uh, you, you control <laughs> yeah, a horse, horse that controls, like, shit. And then at the end, there's supposed to be yeah. this really emotional moment where the horse dies, and I was like, fuck, yes! Yes. <laughs> yeah, very similar to that. Um, where the stupid I, elephant died. I get what it's and supposed like, yeah. to represent. Yeah, I get what it's supposed to represent. It's like, oh, her childhood is dying away or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But I think this movie fails as a metaphor, like, a lot. I was going to bring that up. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, throughout the movie, they have, like, the whole conflict inside her head with, like, the actual emotions having to solve problems, right? Or whatever that are going on inside her head. I thought, like,. The way she was acting in real life is so, like, it makes sense within the movie because a bunch of things are going loose in her head, but it doesn't work as a metaphor for real life growing up because she was so erratic, like, to the point of ridiculousness, like mm-hmm. the girl, you know, she yeah, was I so, know she was throwing temper tantrums, like, for literally no reason, like, I, like, I, I know that's the point, but it just, it felt like more of an excuse to show what was going, like, it's very weird. It was felt more. It felt like a p- contrivance instead of a natural kind I of. I was metaphor. exactly going to bring that up. Yeah. Where the actual plot of what's going on inside her head feels so weird. It's like it's supposed to represent what goes on through every kid when they go through puberty. And I'm there's like mm-hmm. some tower that fell down and accidentally destroyed an island. I'm like, oh, I, mm-hmm. and there's like a train the the tr- the train of thought that they followed that then crashed into something. I'm like, oh, does does every teenager when they go through puberty have a train of thought that crashes into something? I don't know. A lot of the metaphor just really didn't, as you said, a lot of the metaphor just didn't work, in my opinion. The 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 way she's acting reflects what's going on in her head, but I don't feel like that yeah. accurately depicts what an actual person like yeah. how an actual person acts out or what what they go through when they're growing up. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Like it's it's very contrived. It's a very again, it's insultingly generic for how cool the concept is. Yeah. It's just it takes a concept really that's really like awesome and unique and could be really fun, but it makes a really generic Pixar movie out of it. Like it's the same story as all of their other movies, just with uh, new characters. Yeah, that's it. There are bits yeah. and pieces I really enjoyed, like l- very little bits and pieces. There was this one in the beginning, right, uh, where I feel like I genuinely went with the concept, right, where uh, when she's a little baby, right, 
and she doesn't want to eat her veggies. Yeah. I think you, you think you know I was going to bring this up because because I really like this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Or yeah, where she's a baby and she's eating her veggies. She doesn't want to eat her veggies, and the dad's like, "Oh, if you don't eat your veggies, you won't get any dessert." And then anger shows up and he's like, "Oh, we won't get any dessert, huh?" And then he makes her throw a yeah. tantrum. I thought shit like that was really cute. I thought that made that made no, a lot and of sense. Th- that works, but then nothing else in the movie. But then works nothing else like does. That, that's like the one know? thing that yeah, I'm like, oh, that's like cool. Yeah, they could have done more of that. Like, they could have shown again what an actual person would go through yeah. at that stage of their life. And again, we've both like been through it. We, we yeah. we're not just speaking out of our ass. We're not mm-hmm. less than ten years old. Uh, it's just like, yeah, it's just, that's not. It, it felt like I think there was a moment on the stairs somewhere where she or her head like I, I might be I might be making this up entirely, right? I think you are. Yeah, I feel. I feel like there was a moment where her like physical body literally got jerked around because of what was going on in her head, and that kind of just completely killed it for me. Like killed the metaphor factor for. I'm not sure if that happens in the movie. I don't remember if this that, happens. Kind of if a, it does, that would be. It's really a good silly. metaphor for yeah. the movie itself because it just feels like yeah, it contrived and stupid. I don't. I don't yeah. like this movie. One thing I will say that I do sort of like the end message it attempted to communicate. I don't think it did a good job of communicating it. But I believe that the idea was that uh, being sad is a part of being human, and Ellen, the yeah. Ellen degenerate, just like trying to be happy all the time, uh, was extremely unnatural, and especially for someone growing up. Ellen degenerate. So, Ellen, De- isn't Ellen degenerate happy? She's someone. No, bad. I'm thinking of You're Dory. Thinking of Dory. Apologies. I'm thinking of Dory. I apologize. Same character, really. Yeah. But basically, happy is yeah. like, you have to be happy all the goddamn time, and that's why she's in charge. Yeah, and then yeah, later yeah. on, growing up was like, you know, you don't have to be happy all the goddamn time. That's exhausting. So, uh, mm-hmm. I do, I don't think the movie did a great job of communicating that per se, but I do mm-hmm. sort of in, like that message where, because all I other Pixar like movies is like, too. yeah. If it's like all other mm-hmm. Pixar movies is like, oh, we're so happy all the time, and uh, da da da, and stuff, and it's so obnoxious. <laughs> it's like, oh. It's like how Miyazaki said, uh, you know, that song Let It Go is very popular in America right now. It's all about being yourself. Which that's is awful. bad. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Uh, um, not great. Uh, I don't hate it at all. I th- I enjoy that they I tried something it. new. Yeah. yeah. But at it's... the same time, they didn't try something new. They didn't, yeah. Okay, good point. It, they, 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 they got a new, like, ballsy concept, and they didn't commit to it at all. Yeah. Because they're scared of turning away average average joe like moviegoer <laughs> by making anything original you know they had yeah, to osmosis make jones a generic is better story <laughs> oh, what the hell is that <laughs> you, you haven't seen osmosis that. jones oh my god no it's chris rock plays let plays like a white blood cell cop in like a buddy cop drama inside uh bill murray's body oh that sounds like me- that movie meet dave <laughs> with uh, eddie murphy it you know that movie yeah kind of is Except not at all, but yeah, kind of it is. Anyway, it's it's really it's it's I would not call it good, but it's fun. Just the concept of yeah. a buddy cop drama inside Bill Murray's body. It's it's very interesting. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay, um, enough about that. Yeah, in, Inside Out. Uh, I don't hate it. The, the one moment where the elephant dies and they try to bait tears out mm-hmm. of you. That I do yeah. really hate. I feel like that's so manipulative and not earned. I hate that character. And it's like, I know that's just there, too, so that adults can go home and tell their friends, like, oh, I cried, by it's a cartoon, but I cried during this part. It's like, fuck off. Like, it's a, it's so manipulative. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, if you want to watch Inside Out, but better, watch Kiki's Delivery Service from last episode. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess. That's yeah, that's about, gr- yeah. yeah, never mind. That's a good call. Yeah. Yeah, just watch any Ghibli movie over any <laughs> just, of these other than, like, The Incredibles. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. Okay, there's one, because, like, uh, sort of, we, we don't, we have a very loose structure for this, but I sort of have three columns here, yeah. great, okay, and bad. Um, yeah. And there's one in the bad column that I actually, that we actually sort of skipped over, and I'd like to talk about that one now. Oh, okay, go ahead. We're pretty much yeah. done. We're, uh, is there anything else you want to say about Inside Out? No, 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 Inside Out's very mediocre. Right. It could have been cool, the concept is cool, but it's just very generic, and that's mm-hmm. kind of what's bad about Pixar now. They, they get cool concepts, and they do nothing with them. Yep. Uh, so the one that I actually really didn't like, even as a kid, actually, this is one that sort of annoyed me as a kid, mm-hmm. was A Bug's Life. Oh, I've never seen it. I've seen Ant You've Z. never seen it? I oh. haven't seen A Bug's Life. Ant Z is I've so much NZ. better than Bug's Life. I'm very glad you brought that up. <laughs> Ant Z is so much better. Because, like, I don't know. Do you know even though Ant Z was kind of ugly, of it Pixar? sort of had personality. Are- yeah, exactly. Oh, it's such a funny story. Yeah. I don't know what exactly, <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> It's basically yeah. what happened. Go ahead. I actually like NZ a lot more than Bugs. But I don't know. Bugs Life has such a generic plot where this loser guy nobody likes. But he's like, oh, he's an inventor. He's really smart. But nobody likes him because he's stupid and annoying and dumb. 
and mm-hmm. then some bullshit where he goes to like the the, for, the the circus and picks up a bunch of quirky characters, and then they come home. And, I don't That's know. Fun. I don't remember much from it because I didn't want to ever rewatch it. But it was just really annoying and boring. And weirdly enough, I saw it after Anne Z, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually mm-hmm. like Anne Z a lot. I think it holds up pretty well. I rewatched it fairly mm-hmm. recently. I think it's still a fairly enjoyable yeah. movie. And a bug's life just felt yeah. like nerfed Aunt Z because it didn't bring any interest, anything uh, interesting. Yeah. To the co- it didn't bring anything interesting well, to, the ca- to the table. The main character was boring, yeah. and everything else felt like it was overcompensating because he goes to the circus and picks up these quirky characters, but they're also boring. So it's like anyway, just I don't have much to the... say. It's just lame. Compare the compare the art style of Enzi and Bugs Life. Bugs Life mm-hmm. looks like the most save toy friendly shit, right? Yeah. Enzi kind of look kind of <laughs> looks unique. Like it's you know. Enzi, I, I want to say ugly, but like in a really pleasant way. Like Sylvester yeah, Stallone yeah. ant, he looks cool. awesome. It looks cool, yeah. Yeah, I really uh, like. You know it. what the best ant movie is? The Ant Bully. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Wait, is Aang. that even on anything? I want to put that on in the background. Oh god, that movie is not good, but it does have Aang as the main character. Yeah. yeah that movie's also like even as a kid, it's just that like, there's some so moments bad. in it. That, this just like it really disturbed me. Like it was a really, yeah. cool, it's a really gross looking. Yeah, you know they got you know, Nick Cage. It's very good. It's, yeah, they did get Nick Cage. They got Nick Cage. <laughs> so yeah, Bugs Anyways, Life. Not much to uh, say. Watch Ant Z. It was boring. Yeah. It was lame. Even as a kid, it sort of annoyed me. Not much to say. Yeah. I just wanted to bring it up because we skipped it over in the bad column. That's an early one though. That's bad. So that's kind of unique for this. Podcast, yeah, I guess because all the true. ones we're talking about that are bad are the recent ones, like the post Wally yeah. ones. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Uh, anyways, a bug's life just felt uh, way too safe uh, to me. I don't know. I, I just yeah. do not enjoy in- it. Introduce the next movie. Oh, well, well, there's a couple next movies. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Pick one. Oh, nice. We're forty. Uh, I was forty-six minutes, and I thought that's going to be the total duration of the podcast. <laughs> nice. No, we st- we haven't even gone to the good stuff. Okay, you're actually gonna hate me for this, but uh, I have in the okay, okay column here Incredibles two. No, that's fine. Oh, nice. Okay, I, I so, agree with you. Uh oh. Okay, great. I was thinking we could probably talk about it when we actually talk about Incredibles, but we can probably just talk about it now. We can talk about it now. Uh, okay. The main reason um, I really like it is. Uh, um, I know what you're gonna say. Just say it. Let's go on. Uh, what's the next movie? <laughs> what? You cut out for a bit, but I'm assuming no, I'm you said Elastigirl's fat ass. N- okay, I I, j- I said uh, like in an awkward manner, and then I said, "Oh, all right, let's move on." <laughs> oh, all right, let's move on. <laughs> okay, that also works. So yeah. no, I am very biased because uh, d- seeing this movie in a the theater made me feel like a kid again, and I think I think it is genuinely. Like in another league from other recent Pixar movies, and not because it's original, it's just because of how much fun it is and like how good the action scenes are. I just, I, I really like it. Yeah. And Elastigirl's oh, and what do you not like ass? about it? And Elastigirl's <laughs> new character model is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and the list she got going on something about it. Something oh about my it. god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway, we're not gonna turn this into <laughs> nothing. Never mind. We're not gonna turn this into Pixar <laughs> mom ass stuff. <laughs> He sounds a lot like that Hannibal Lecter person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Mr. Lecter. Uh. I'm Mr. Lecter. Uh. Mr. Mr. Lecter. Anyway, Dr. okay. Lecter, uh, could you help me? <laughs> I do really enjoy that it, it, it does leave off, like, directly right after Incredibles 1. They don't do some bullshit time fun, skip yeah. stuff. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I like that Underminer was yeah. a very minor part of the movie, because that would have been a really lame villain. But at the same time, the yeah. actual villain was even lamer. <laughs> so I can't the even give him too much point. Worse. I actually hate... That's the main gripe I have with this this uh, movie, is the villain. Because mm-hmm. it was just... Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was so contrived, their reasoning. I liked Syndrome's... Syndrome's motivation wasn't, like, the most incredibly insane thing, but it was really Syndrome entertainingly was great, simple. Though. I loved Syndrome. I love Syndrome, Syndrome a lot. Great. And I actually probably, really love how simple his motivation is. Syndrome is probably the best Pixar is. villain. Yes, I have to... Probably, yeah. Easily. Well, yeah. And the villain here is just so... I'm gonna briefly talk about Awful. what exact. It's just so weird. Like their their yeah. parents relied on a hero, uh, like like for heroes to save them when they were getting robbed or something, and the heroes didn't come in time. And then they didn't get saved. Oh, and then they didn't get saved. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, psh, the only way for people not to rely on heroes is to is to get rid of them forever instead of making them more easily the accessible. Fuck, like, so I don't know. I can sort of so see what they were stupid. going for, but it was so stupid. Yeah, it was so dumb. And they got yeah, Bob they Odenkirk. tried going for Watchmen, I guess. Yeah, basically. What is what the first Incredibles <laughs> but, did very well. Yeah. Yeah, animated Bob Odenkirk, though, is pretty good. He looks exactly like yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I also like him. <laughs> hate Mr. Incredible's character in this. 
I think you yes. agree with that. Oh my god, they, yeah. they butchered him. Yeah. They butchered him. And we're back. I apologize. I was fiddling around here with my desk and accidentally pressed pause on the recording. That's going to be a lot of fun for Mark to record later. But we're back. Because you're an idiot. Because I'm a fucking moron. I will actively admit I was dumb. But uh, we were discussing <laughs> Mr. Incredibles' character. Mark, you can get you can start us. Because you're the one who pointed this they out. They absolutely... They absolutely butchered Mr. Incredible in Incredibles 2. I actually, like, as much as I do like this movie, I think they they completely, like, messed up. And uh, the, the fact that, again, it kind of shows you how corporate and sterile Pixar mm-hmm. is now, as opposed to, like, the more kind of human stories they used to tell. Because in the original, but he's still, like, a good person. Mm-hmm. He's still a good husband, right? In this movie, they thought it would be a very good idea to... Do none Basically of that. Basically, make him, make him root for his wife's like failure, so that he gets a spotlight. And it's very out of character and very it was weird. So mean spirited like, and out of character. I really didn't yes. enjoy any scene he was in. Because I'm like, why are you such a dick? I don't remember you being this much of a dick. He also sounds really old. Yeah. <laughs> the movie was made like fifty. Weirdly years enough, later. Elastigirl doesn't yeah. sound that much older. I don't know what the hell they did. Mm. Stop. I wouldn't mind that. Stop. Kind of based. Stop. <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. you know what's really funny? She's in uh, Batman v Superman, and uh, I just she's in the scene with Jesse Eisenberg. I just laugh every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, do you like any? What do you like? What's your overall opinion on this movie? It's okay. <laughs> That's all I can really say about it. Yeah. Where it's, okay. I really think I do think that it's good. Still overshadows it's bad, but it's bad really does annoy me. Yeah, it, it, you know what? Um, I I do really like this as a huge fan of the original. I think I think it's like, it's not the most interesting place the story could go. You know, mm-hmm. I also have an issue with them starting it right after the first one ended because the ending of the first movie of the Underminer showing up. It's a joke. Yeah. Right nobody's out there is actually like oh yeah let's i want to see what happens to the underminer like nobody like nobody who got the joke is 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 like wants to watch something with the underminer it's that's not the it's i mean it's at the same funny, time because right? they're superheroes yeah, yeah. At, at the same time i feel like that's part of the punchline as well that like only like the first 10 minutes are actually about the underminer yeah but at the same time i feel like it would have been better if they just kind of brushed it off yeah also true or if he, if like if I like, like an asteroid like hit fact, him or something and he instantly died yeah. and they go oh okay that would have been interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been better. I feel like if they, if they really wanted, if they really understood the first movie, like if it was the same exact people making everything, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, if they retained the kind of like the again the satir- uh, the satiric bite of that movie. God, <laughs> as much as I hate that. No, yeah, phrase, I see what you're saying. I feel like they would they they would have played it off as a joke instead of being like, oh, well, we've got to resolve the thing with the Underminer now. It's God. like that's no. Yeah, that the, the joke is that they're superheroes and some random stupid guy's gonna show up any day, like every day now because they're superheroes. That's the joke. Right? Yeah, I get that. I definitely <laughs> get. That. I still enjoy the fact that he sort of completed it right after, but I definitely see that as an issue. That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think my favorite aspect of this movie, right, other than the... Elastigirl's big fat ass? (laughs) See, he's embarrassed. I don't give a shit. I was going to get to that. Uh, Anyways, Mm. yeah, other than, like, the really, like, nice-looking character models and uh, Mm -hmm. and everything, right? I think the action scenes in this movie are incredible. Like, no pun intended. They're, They're amazing. (laughs) The action scenes in this movie are, like, better than the first movie. They're, mm-hmm. You probably don't remember them because you've only seen it once. But yeah, I've only seen it once because they're I didn't actually like it that like much. insane. They're okay. Great. The boost him, the boost the action him. scenes. Yeah, um, there is a lot to dislike though. You go, you go ahead. Yeah, okay. no, that I don't know. Just like the, how contrived the villain is, and how like it's it's uh, I don't mm-hmm. know how it's like I don't know. It's like at least the twist is so dumb that you can't really predict it. But at the same time, it's extremely predictable. No, wait. What am I talking about? I don't what, remember it that the, well. The, that the twist that she's the villain? the sleepy girl is the villain. Yeah, it was like really obvious, but also just yeah. really dumb. So you kind of just like they're not gonna do that, and then they did. And then they did. And then they did. Yeah. Well, it's because it's it's modern Pixar. Yeah, they don't know how to tell a unique story. They don't know how to do a villain anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I don't know. Yeah, the villain starts that, off as again. They do the Toy Story thing again, where the villain's like, "Oh, he's your buddy. Mm-hmm. You know, he's helping you out. You know, they're a bit weird. They're a bit quirky. But hey, they're helping you out. And then they just instantly betray you." It's yeah, but at the same time, she doesn't betray her because 
she didn't want to be friends with her, right? In, okay. So it's, it's a different motivation. Sure, sure. fair enough. Because Syndrome is like Syndrome is a villain because Mr. Incredible burst them off. Yeah, exactly. And uh, in the second one, she's a villain just because her, which is a much more stupid like motivation. But yeah. Um, no, no, sorry. I'm saying they did the Toy Story uh, thing, not that they copied yeah. the previous movie. Sorry, that they did the Toy Story two and Toy Story three thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where she pretends yeah, yeah, yeah. to be on the good team, and uh, then she just kind of instantly betrays them. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do that in every single one. They do that in it's every insane. one. Yeah. <laughs> they do that in literally every yeah. single movie. It's terrifying. It's ridiculous. It's so annoying. Uh, the wor- I think the worst part of this movie for me is the side, the new side character. Oh my god! I was gonna bring that up later. Oh, they're so bad. It's like. God. You have this. You have these amazing like character designs for the the main characters from the first movie, right? They they yeah. look great and they they sound great and they have good mm-hmm. personalities. And then you have these like characters that are completely from a different. They look they look like they're from Bakiro Six. <laughs> it's like it's such terrible like costume and power design. It's just oh, it's really bad. Yeah. I also I don't know. I have again. I do like this movie a lot. I think it's great. I think there's. A, I I really think that this is probably the best of like what you'd consider modern Pixar. Um, yes, it still sort of feels like yeah, there are yeah. people who actually wanted to work on this. It still feels like a cash grab, but mm-hmm. it feels like at least some people involved were like, "Yeah, I, I can. I want to. I want to do this." Yeah, mm. it's still like guess again. The action scenes are amazing. The animation is like does not annoy me in this one nearly as much yeah. as it does in there. Yeah, ones, gonna even say. though it, it is, it does suffer from the over animation. I was going to say they feel a bit about. shiny to me. Yeah, it I does, sort of like how does. scruff, not scruff, but like how much rougher the characters models in the original were. Uh, not just how the character models look, but how they're animated. Mm-hmm. Like they weren't as exaggerated in yeah, the original. Yeah, that's true. I don't think, and that's what made them feel more human because humans don't act like Disney characters. You know, because mm-hmm. that, that's one thing. That's <laughs> one thing that's that's interesting is the technological technological limits sort of forces them to be a bit more reserved. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, so it almost seems like technological advancements were sort of a detriment to animated movies in a lot of ways. I, I don't even think. I don't even think that. They weren't over animated in the original because they couldn't do mm. it. Like I think they, they just didn't want to. But but this whole Disneyfication of Pixar is kind of like well, people like over exaggerated things yeah. because, so that even the dumbest people in the audience can read their like emotions or whatever. Right? Exactly. I think that's why it's there. I don't that think makes it's a lot there of because sense. they no. couldn't do it back in the day. That probably makes a yeah. lot more sense. That's a much more promising theory. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I. I if you don't compare it to the original, this is a really fun action superhero movie with a really bad villain. That's, that's yeah. all, all I have to say about it. I've seen it multiple times. I think it's really fun. I've seen it once. Yeah. I don't intend to watch it again. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. Yeah, that's I'm fair. very lukewarm towards it. Yeah. I'm... Uh, I... Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. It, it's like... I was going to say that there are some sequels that like I think the world would be a better place if they didn't exist. And... Yeah. Like, like Toy Story 3 and 4 especially come to mind. Uh, but like Incredibles 2 I didn't really get that with this where it's like it exists and that's fine good for it Mm -hmm. Um, yeah that's all I really have to say Brad Brad Bird is still like a genius animation director so that's the way it works he did he did the Iron Giant he did the Incredibles he did Ratatouille it's like he's not gonna make a bad animated movie you know he's just nah I take it back I didn't know he did Ratatouille I take it back Oh, it's a, it's a running joke that he hates her to it because I really like it. He's kind of lukewarm about. I don't. It, I'm not lukewarm about it. I'm more look. Yeah. Anyway, because that's actually a great transition. Let's talk about Ratatouille now. Because that's all mm-hmm. I have to say about Incredibles oh, okay, too. Yeah. Are you done? Oh, there's one more thing yeah, I'm actually. Done. I there's like a, it. There's a logistical thing in mm-hmm. it that really took me out of it. It could be because I was too old when I watched it. But like, there's this okay, yeah, there's this little subplot where the villain has like these hypnotizing goggles, right? And oh, it's so stupid. No, this is so dumb. It's awful. But but like they're also somehow autonomous despite being hypnotized. They're also yeah, like, they're also they also regain yeah. Like yeah. like there's this one scene where they're just like on patrol, right, looking at shit. And then they hear something and then they go out of their patrol to go and, and investigate. They, I'm like, aren't they being hypnotized? Yeah. Like what are they being is is the hypnotizing just they're saying being, be evil? Like it's so weird. They're they're being hypnot. They're being mind controlled, but at the same time, they have like control of their actions, but not really. And they can also talk and like think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so, so weird. stupid yeah. and weird. That really took me out of it. I feel so like if I was a dumb. kid, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, they mind control." But I was, I think I was too old, and I was like, "That's so dumb." Even then, I, I I'm still like that. Like I don't notice. I, I do notice things like that in movies, but they never. It never bothers it, me. It's just kind of like, yeah, that that is stupid. Okay, fair enough. 
Yeah. Okay, that's all I had to say yeah. about Incredibles 2. If it bothers you, that's fine. It, like, did it, bother may, me it might bother me in a movie I like less. Yeah, also true. Yeah. So that's all I had to say. Anyways, uh, mm-hmm. Ratatouille. Yeah. You go first. Yeah, Reddit. Uh, should I introduce Ratatouille? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I said you go first, bitch. Ratatouille is incredible. It's a masterpiece. It's probably my second or f- it's probably my second favorite Pixar movie. I think it's great. I think the I actually I rewatched it recently. I think it's it's their most mature movie easily. It's it's a lot of just really good dialogue and really good characters, <laughs> and I think the villain is also awesome like he's great and he he represents something that other villains in pixar movies don't really they're kind of just an opposing like physical force in this movie it's it's a mental uh, opposition and also this movie makes me really hungry every time i watch it anyways i've been talking too much you go ahead okay yeah i'm I'm not gonna be as nearly as interesting about this because i just don't have much to say (laughs) i watched it when i was a kid and i was like that was okay and then i watched it when i was adult and i was like that was okay it uh i can see what people see in it it's definitely one of their highest quality in terms of fidelity of animation mm-hmm. and the way that they try to communicate how food makes you it feel, it looks. It's like their first movie that doesn't look dated yeah. today at all. I That's, don't yeah. think. It it's, looks incredible. It does look very good. The humans aren't terrifying monsters. Um, there's very unique mm-hmm. character design. All the humans look very distinct, weirdly enough, but like not in a creepy way. I they find, look which great. Is interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I will admit that this one is a look very high the... quality. Like we're being unironic here. Normally, if me and Mark were just having a discussion, I'd be mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, it sucks, and you should die." But unironically speaking, it's definitely a very <laughs> high fidelity film. It just didn't really speak to me. That's mm-hmm. all I can really say. Uh, where it's good, but I just fair. didn't love it. Yep. I don't think it speaks to me like on a personal level entirely either. Mm-hmm. I just really enjoy it. Okay. I think it's a really good, entertaining story with great characters. And again, it's it's paced differently than other Pixar movies. It doesn't it doesn't have as much of like a three act thing. You know, mm-hmm. it's kind of just. It's a lot of really long dialogue scenes, and I really like that. Also, the camera work in this movie is amazing. I I don't know if you probably never noticed it, but the camera work is like incredible. I do like, remember there's, there's this really good chase scene particular. where he has like these letters in his mouth. Yeah, uh, that was at the beginning. But there's like okay, even definitely. scenes like, for example, when the chef storms into the the kitchen and starts like yelling at them about something. It like the camera like I'll just I'll send you the shot later. It's really okay. cool. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I love this one. I love Remy. I love the what's the other guy's name? Linguini. Yeah. Uh, I love the characters. I love the villain. The ending is great. Yeah, the main character sounds so it's delicious. Like, it's, sti- it's like Linguini. It's like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's still <laughs> well, because that's a pasta. I know, I know. It's still um I love the music. I think all the cooking sequences are great. Uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just, just a really good movie. I watched it a lot as a kid, mm-hmm. uh, although I have no idea how I, I was entertained by it as a kid <laughs> because it's clearly in the, it's like it's the really like it's their least for children movie mm-hmm. easily. Yeah, I'll even yeah, element that as well. Made for adults. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, it didn't it didn't really speak to me. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely very high quality. Even even as a kid, I was like, yeah, this doesn't look like most other Pixar movies. But I just don't love it. It's not. Yeah. It's definitely really good. It's That's just fair. not my favorite. That's completely mm-hmm. fair. Yeah. I, I kind of have the same thing where it doesn't really, like, speak to me at an emotional level, really, and not on a message level. I just really like it as a movie. That's fair. You know? It's a good movie. You have, so you have the I, correct I opinion kinda, here. Yeah. yeah, so this was before Pixar completely yeah. fell off a building and died. <laughs> yeah. This you can, you can tell from the director that is incredible. something I'll I give said. it. It seems like everyone involved was putting in their all. I will definitely give it that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's... Yeah, I watched it recently. It's it's mm-hmm. it's still very entertaining. It's great. We I definitely don't like it more than my favorite one though. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely we pretty much <laughs> gone over my entire yeah. bad and okay column. I think we're going to start talking about the really yeah. great ones now. And I think we should start oh, Let with... me see if I have any. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So that's we're pretty much done with it. Oh. It's because yeah. I knew that I knew what you're going to bring up. There's just a couple I haven't seen. Uh mm-hmm. so actually, yeah. What's what's one you were going to bring up, Mark? Uh well one of them is gonna piss you off the other the other one you haven't seen so okay. the first one I'm gonna bring up is the one you haven't seen it's Coco I've not seen is Coco very mediocre uh again it's one of those where I was kind of pissed off at the ending because it's so manipulative and fake yeah I'm not and I have nothing to see. you can see coming for a mile away it's one of those well, where I just yeah. sort of didn't bother just because from what I've seen of it it's not something I'd ever enjoy uh give me one it- yes hello. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, I'm watched uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. She's like, "Wow, their teacher's so familiar." 
<laughs> oh yeah, Bill it's from Bill Freaks from Freaks and Geeks. Geeks. It's awesome. Anyway, okay. We gotta make an episode on shows we really like, just in general. Yeah, Freaks and Geeks is incredible. I, yeah. I definitely make an entire episode just about Freaks and Geeks. Freaks and Geeks is is one of those rare things that I really love, but I I'm ready to never watch it ever again <laughs> in my life. It hurts. It was it just so painful to you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Coco is yeah. just one of those things I never right. bothered. With. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's continue. Uh, mm-hmm. Coco is one of those things I just kind of never bothered watching because from what I've seen of it, it's just not something I'd enjoy, not something I get anything out of. So I just kind of never bothered. Mm-hmm. There's a couple on. There's four yeah. movies like that that I just did not bother. That's one of them. So the good this dinosaur. Is, the good dinosaur. For my <laughs> four are Coco, the good dinosaur, Onward, and Soul. Are those four I just did not bother watching and I don't intend to. Oh yeah, Soul is would be interesting to talk about with you actually. Okay, maybe I'll give it a shot then. Yeah. Um. We can actually briefly mention it because I think it's okay. Yeah, let's let's briefly talk about these four because yeah. I haven't. Co- have, uh, seen, Soul? have you seen the Good Dinosaur? No, I. Okay, have so we're not going to talk about Nobody that one. Has. Nobody has. So you yeah. can talk about Coco, Coco Onward? Onward and Soul right now because I haven't seen them. Coco, I don't have much to say about. It, it felt like another Disney movie. Mm-hmm. It didn't really Fair feel enough. Pixar-y to me. Uh, it's a very generic story. Mm-hmm. Extremely generic. The the world in it is really cool though. It's all like skeletons and stuff. Grim it Fandango, really cool. yeah. Skeletons uh, are cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Grim Fandango, exactly. Um, uh, Onward was shitty. I enjoyed it when I saw it, and the more like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, wow, this movie really sucks. <laughs> it's kind of because it kind of does. Yeah, it. I, it's they are it's us. One of those again. They are us. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those again where it's the, with the syndrome of like, yeah, this is just the Pixar for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah, definitely what uh, I saw. From soul, I soul, I really liked when I when I saw it. Right, I mm-hmm. thought it was actually pretty powerful. Like there was a moment in it that it was just wasn't like a bombastic action scene. It was just kind of a quiet, nice moment, and I I thought it was really powerful mm-hmm. and, and effective. But the more time passes, the more it just doesn't stay in my head at all. Like it just right. it had no effect on me whatsoever. And I think Soul has the worst like human character design out of any <laughs> Pixar movie. Look it up; they look hideous. yeah. I do not like the way they look. I do not like the way they look. It looks awful. Like it looks so bad. I don't know what the hell happened. And then the Soul world looks kind of cool, but again, it's just inside out again. Mm-hmm. Looks really similar. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Mark's trying to front. He's it. trying. He's trying to not make it look like Sadana Cast just changed his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. I know they did it. I'm, I'm just playing. You know what did change my opinion? My friend saying that he liked it more than Wolfwalkers, and I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> oh, now I gotta hate guy. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you, you, your brains are wired weird like that. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just by just by virtue of someone liking then, some, I don't know. Yeah, go on. But even then, like when I was watching it, I'm like, all right, I'm enjoying this. It's better than their other recent mm-hmm. stuff, but it just did not stay with me at all in any capacity after mm-hmm. I saw it. And I feel like that kind of says everything. Yeah. Okay, I got it. That's, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. we haven't seen The Good Dinosaur. We don't intend to, so we're not talking about it. End of story. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. The end. Go on. The, sorry, one, one more thing. The ending of Soul is another example of how afraid Pixar is to commit to something yeah, actually uh, sad I can and imagine. profound. It's, it's such a cop out. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's everything yeah, I have for on. the okay, bad, and not seen columns like, that aren't sequels. So mm-hmm. we can probably talk about the greats mm-hmm. now. Um, oh, I have another one in my okay, okay. category. Okay, let's see it. It's gonna piss, it's gonna piss you off. Okay, let's can hear. Can you guess what it is? Is it if you say Monsters Inc. right now? It's Monsters Inc. You dumb Inc. bastard, cock Inc. fuck! Exactly. I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> Why the fuck? What is wrong with Monsters Inc.? <laughs> okay, um, go on, huh? Go well, on. first of all, I don't think it's aged visually that well. I don't think it looks that good. <laughs> <laughs> Sully's hair look it awesome. Looks Mike Wazowski like, looks so leathery and cool. Fuck you. Go on. The colors in it don't look nice to me. Like the the color palette of the movie just looks really mm-hmm. ugly. It looks like a it looks like a game made in it looks like a game made in the Unity engine to me. You know that's what this movie uh-huh. looks like. To All me. right, yeah. Uh-huh. I also uh-huh. think in like the last thirty to forty minutes, it lost me so hard. I just mm-hmm. so did not care about because I rewatched this recently because I used to watch it as a kid, but I don't remember having an opinion on it, right? So right. I'm like, okay, John loves this. Let me rewatch it so <laughs> I can argue with him, right? And <laughs> yeah, I just did not like it that much. I, I will the admit, beginning. The beginning I will admit, cool. the third act does sort of lose a lot of steam, and as a lot of animated kids yeah. movies do. Uh, but I don't know. Is mm-hmm. that continue what you wanted to say, and I'll go what I wanted to say. 
Yeah, the third act. It's such a generic kids movie. Mm-hmm. The third act. I, I so I was so not invested in like the final action set piece of there where they're jumping from the doors or whatever. Mm-hmm. Randall yeah, is a great little... villain. Okay. Uh, good. Mike Wazowski is a great character. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sully, yeah, he's okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Boo, I don't like. I don't know. I just I that don't makes like sense. The, kind of I don't annoying. Get attached kind to. of a point. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Randall I really like. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, just the, I. I don't like the color palette and the look of this movie and the story really loses me in the third act and it's just nothing special to me that's kind of why i'm not that into it okay yeah go on that's fair no i was i was a little hyperbolic <laughs> but you dumb fucking <laughs> i was a little hyperbolic but i will admit that it does have its issues i think that none of them could detract yeah. um i think the voice acting that's probably the strongest thing it has going for it the voice acting is incredible it's just because you love john goodman that's, how can you not love john goodman it's just John Goodman, isn't What's, it? It's, he plays he himself. It, we're, we're go so, it sounds just like Sully would sound <laughs> like. I don't know what you want from me. They did a really it does, good job. It does. It does. And Randall, Steve it Buscemi, does. that's awesome. All the voice actors are great. Steve yeah. Buscemi. Steve Buscemi, oh. exactly. That's so good. Like, all the voice acting, uh, voice acting really does carry a lot of it, in my opinion. Um, I, I actually yeah. really love the character design. It's sort of one of those where you can look at them and instantly tell what their character is like just by looking at them. Like, I do like it too. Mm-hmm. I just don't like the how bright the colors are and how they don't go with the backgrounds at all. It never really did. I don't know. I never yeah. really minded that. I see what you're saying for sure. Oh, yeah, because it's like weirdly. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying, but it never really bothered well, me. This opinion extre- like makes so much sense considering our personalities. Because <laughs> yeah, because you're the fucking Mike Wazowski. That's why. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. No, yeah. it's the Randall. <laughs> Very no, true. Random. Yeah. McGlo- no, yeah. Never mind. Nothing. Cut that out. We're not talking about that. No, no, don't talk about that. We're not talking about that. But yeah, <laughs> the plot I will say is probably the weakest element of it. Even I'll openly admit that. But I love the characters. Yes. I love everyone's motivation. I love the voice acting. I love the character design. One thing that I really enjoyed about Mike Wazowski, both as a kid and growing up, is that he's kind of a selfish douchebag, in like a really lovable way. Oh yeah, he's so great. I really love him in that context. He's great, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's awesome. And Mr. Waternoose's yeah. design is a like. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. He's like oddly cuddly, despite being terrifying, because he's a spider. I don't know. I think I just thought he was cool. No, I think I think he looks disgusting. Okay, I hate fair him. enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. That works. I think he looks disgusting. So yeah, uh, yeah. the plot is easily the weakest element. Uh, I love everything else about it, though. That's sort of my thing about it. Well, I still think it holds up visually in well, my in my head, opinion. I remember. Hold on. Is, was this just in my head? I remember like a, a Cars version of Monsters, Inc. <laughs> no, there was a, there was a short, that? Mike's new car. There was a Pixar short. Oh, Mike's okay, car, okay. Where Mike got okay, a car okay. and it was like all fancy and shit and then he crashed it instantly. It was pretty funny. Uh, no, 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 no. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. There was a version where they have like the Yeti, Sully, and Mike as like cars. Holy movie shit. Cars. Oh, I, think I think it's like one of those outtake things. Do you things? remember that? Oh my god, whoa. Yeah. You're scratching like the back of my wild. brain. What the hell was that? <laughs> I remember something that like that. Wild. We are going to have to look that yeah. up after this. I distinctly recall something like that, yeah. but I cannot tell you what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was talking, talking about something about else. Right? I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about, but I can't put my finger on it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, okay. It's very weird. So yeah, I, I uh, like I was a bit hyperbolic in the beginning, but unironically, I can't understand why you put this in OK pile. I will also admit uh, certain nostalgia blindness to it. This was like my favorite Pixar movie growing up. I watched it a lot as a kid too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, see, you're you're somewhat intelligent, right? So you can sort of negate that nostalgia through <laughs> brains. I can't. So I uh, will admit it does have its issues. The plot is the weakest element of it, but I love everything else about it. I still think it holds up. I guess if you just. If you just aren't like in love with the characters in the world, like like you are, mm-hmm. there's not a lot for you. That makes That's a lot of sense. That's exactly that is. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and I'm not like I don't love the characters mm-hmm. that much, you know. Okay, I can I much prefer uh, again like a Remy from Ratatouille, you know, which which you <gasps> who you probably don't like. Yeah, which I, is don't I do. Like right, it's probably why Ratatouille doesn't connect yeah, with that you makes that sense. Much. Yeah, I'm a, I'm his I'm his dumb fuck brother. That's why I don't like that movie that much. Yeah, go on. Movie movies um. Movies kind of just ride and die by the strength of their characters. I feel. Yeah, a lot of the time, just that's very true. How much they connect with you, characters are much, much like more Miyazaki. Than plot. How they connect. That's why. That's why every Pixar movie has the same plot, but we have such different opinions. That, on each Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Because the characters are at least different. Yeah, plot just doesn't matter. So, that's a separate discussion. No. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I yeah. briefly want to bring up Monster U just because we're talking about Monsters Inc. That's oh, I haven't seen it. Oh my god, that's something I had in the bad pile. Uh, but I just wanted to bring up briefly mm-hmm. when we talk about Monsters, Inc. 
where um, it strikes me a lot as an El Camino, where it's just oh. its entire existence is just completely pointless. That's a separate discussion. Yeah, oh, that's an interesting one. <laughs> where uh, the Breaking Bad sequel film, El Camino, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it just it has no right to exist. It's stupid. It doesn't bring anything new. It's it doesn't bring anything sequel. interesting. It's a se- Sorry? <laughs> It's not even a sequel, it's more of like a... <laughs> yeah, it. sure. Even though this is technically a prequel, it doesn't add anything. And I feel that the character design mm-hmm. actually is scaled back a lot. Where in Monsters, Inc., nearly every really? mo- yeah, nearly every monster looks entirely unique. And um, th- they oh, yeah, just sort yeah, of yeah. had this like little details like about how they walked in the very beginning where um, Sully and Mike exit the door and they have like mm-hmm. a big-ass door for Sully and then a small door for Mike. Just small shit like yeah, that, which yeah. is completely ac- absent in Mo- uh, Monster U. So it really feels like it wasn't nearly as passionate, and there wasn't nearly as much thought. Like, obviously, because it's a prequel. Because there wasn't. Because there wasn't. Because there wasn't. Because there was not, exactly. You know, yeah, this reminds me of The Incredibles 2, where it's like the main characters all look great still, right? Because mm-hmm. they were designed when they had passion for the, for the <laughs> exactly. property. And and every like added character looks so generic mm-hmm. and terrible. And uh, yeah. I thought the plot was extremely generic and boring. Uh, it just, it just, it just has no right. It's one of those where I was talking about Incredibles 2. It's like, yeah, fine. It can exist. That's fine. I genuinely think Monsters U has no reason to exist and it shouldn't. Yeah. Cause at least Incredibles 2 is like a decent movie. It's like a decent its movie. Own, you know? Yeah. Monster U is just boring and yeah. dumb. I don't know. There's nothing I can say about here. I don't think there's anyone out here there who actually enjoyed Monster U. I don't have anything else to say about it. It just sucked. And it probably because I of- also think there's a- yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Great. Thank you. It's probably just because I love Monsters Inc. so much. That I really hated Monster U. Uh, I didn't expect it to be good. I didn't like it while watching it. I didn't like it while thinking uh, thinking about it after. It just was a completely miserable experience. I, I have no plans on watching Do it not. at all. Do not. You're not missing anything. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, yeah. Next okay. one. That's it. That's all I had to say. Yeah, Monsters Inc. is like a 6 out of 10 to me. Uh, even though I did watch it a lot as a kid. And it just re- revisiting it, I'm like, wow, this is really not that good. No, that's fair. <laughs> that's entirely fair, Mark. That's Meanwhile, for you. when I was revisiting The Incredibles and Ratatouille, I'm like, oh my god. Okay, The Incredibles, so yeah. Like, I, I think just, we're going to save Incredibles for last, just because that's the most we have to say. Uh, anyway, uh, but yeah. can you guess the next one I wanted to talk about? Uh, no, go ahead. It's Finding Nemo. Yeah. That is also in my good part. I watched that recently. It's really good. Uh, we brought up earlier, the water it's holds great. up extremely well. I like how emotive they managed yes. to make these fucking fish without being annoying. Without being too emotive? Without yeah. being too emotive, yeah. Uh, it's not really that emotionally manipulative. Yeah, like, I don't the feel beginning really... is actually kind of sad. Yeah, the holy mom fuck. gets eaten by a shark. When, when I was... It, it was... It, it's not... Yeah. It was, a, uh, it was a barracuda, actually. Oh, sorry, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but that shit was... Genu- yeah, like, as a kid, that shit was terrifying. That shit was so that scary. Was traumatic. That was traumatic. <laughs> that <laughs> was really scary. And it didn't feel emotionally manipulative. It just kind of felt like, yeah, a mother's instinct to protect eggs, father's instinct to protect mother, right? So mother protected yeah. eggs and dies in the process. And since father loved mother, they take care of this child with a birth defect. Um, that's just yeah, a really simple... Like, yeah. It's not there to make the audience cry. It's there mm. to get the story yep, started. Exactly. You know, it's... It's necessary to the story. I don't even remember if there's any like tear jerky moments and in, later in the movie. I don't think there I don't are. Remember and if any. there are, they're not that manipulative. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. much at all. Like it, it's not like they cut the dialogue yeah. and sort of playing sad piano music like yeah. another movie will. No. <laughs> um, semi unrelated. I put on Ratatouille in the background. Why would you I, do that? I think this is like one of one of their best looking movies in terms of like color palette and camera work and lighting and stuff. It looks so nice. Yeah. yeah, I feel like, I, I don't know, yeah, for color, color palette seems to be a really large deciding factor for you. It's, like, not that big of a deal for me a lot of the time. Well, it's the overall look of the movie, right? No. I stopped watching BoJack Horseman because it looks so hideous. Oh, fuck, okay, nice. that's different, that's you know? different. Oh, that yeah. shit hurts. Okay, good point. Well, color palette is, like, what you're looking at the whole time. I don't know what, what you're you talking, you're, you're making shit up. I straight up don't know what you're talking is there about. A movie, is there a movie where you really hate the look of it? Um, What's your favorite movie? <laughs> but yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean it's just not that much of a deal breaker for me as it is for you i, I tend enough. to find yeah so. you're not as much of like a visual and audio person as i am i'm just like yeah. is the main character Which is fine yeah yeah, exactly. yeah that's fair yeah i don't even know what the fuck i like in movies it's just ones i like and ones i don't 
Anyway, yeah, exactly. Yes. It's just whatever you, vo- you vibe with. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like uh, yeah. Monsters, Inc. I actually think that this has one of the better, more interesting plots going on. Um, like the sort oh, of like, yeah, yeah it's great. exactly. Like him trying to find it's an adventure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Weirdly enough, it seems like the more unique in terms of story for this, right? Where Marlin's trying to save his son and he has to cross the entire ocean and they meet these really cool characters. Mm-hmm. Like an oddly traumatic movie. Cause I'm going to bring up the angler fish right now. Oh, I knew you were, <laughs> I knew you were going to make that exact sound. Stop, that is so scary. <laughs> It's a really well put together scene as well, where they're like in the dark and then there's yeah. one light. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. really cool. I I rewatched it recently. I'm like yeah. that's a really well. That's done a really scene. well done it's scene. Actually, oh, it's horrific. Yeah, it's, it's so, so scary. scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This whole movie, even though it's all set in like water, it, it there's distinct like looks to each yeah. of like the set pieces and scenes. Like the, I actually forgot that the part where where the shark with the shark was like so early in the movie. But that that whole part looked really cool with like the really like rusted bombs and whatever and the the oh sink, yeah like the, the submarine sub- yeah it was a yeah. really cool section yeah that's a really funny character too I love yeah the, shark. <laughs> the sharks that are like yeah. vegan oh that's great yeah, 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 yeah. so that's also what I was gonna bring up they have like a club yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's also what I was gonna bring so up is funny. every character is extremely pleasant and fun and nice and cool. Like, uh, you remember mm-hmm. Nigel the Pelican, how he, like, crashes into the window? He's like, your son's alive, mate! Yeah, your yeah, your yeah, father's yeah. been looking for you, mate! You know, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's really cool. Do you... I actually watched this movie for the first time in English when I rewatched oh, wow, it nice. uh, a few months ago, right? Uh-huh. Interesting. Uh, hearing Willem Dafoe <laughs> as, like, yeah. the aquarium fish was really cool. He is, he is yeah, oh, such a cool voice. gorgeous voice, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I also... I love the whole... Uh, sub story with Nemo in the Nemo in the fish too. tank, like yeah. That, that, like the sub story can always be kind of boring, you know, in movies. When it's yeah, like I agree. Plot, but the Nemo, they, oh, they're all such great characters. They're all the so much fun. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, yeah, like the uh, and yeah. uh, I do like the villain of that sub story. I guess you'd call it who? Uh, the girl with the braces who shakes the bag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that's a genuine danger, yeah. right? And it's not like she's malicious, and it's not like she's overly cartoonish <laughs> she's just a dumb fuck kid she's kind of malicious she's, i guess malicious yeah i suppose <laughs> no they portray her as like yeah. very malicious exactly she's probably not, she's just a dumb funny. fuck kid i don't know that seems like a really realistic villain for fish to face mm-hmm. yeah that's also they yeah. they pulled a complete beeline as well like it seems like it would have been very easy just to make sharks the villains right they just kind of didn't do that which mm-hmm. i thought was really cool they didn't yeah yeah i actually i don't remember the ending of this movie too well what how did th- it end I feel like yeah, I, it sort of suffers from third part. Uh, third, There's a steam. Yeah, it does suffer There's from steam, um, yeah. third act Pixar syndrome, where as soon as they actually mm-hmm. reunite, it does lose a lot of steam. Yeah, uh, I do want to bring up how this was probably my favorite one to watch as a kid. I was just mm-hmm. so enthralled with the story every single time I would watch it. Like I was really like invested in what mm-hmm. was actually going on. Meanwhile, the other movies, it's kind of more like about the characters and the jokes and I know the scenes mean, yeah. or whatever. This one, I just this one is a really good story. I think that's exactly what I brought up. Like yeah. weirdly, the plot is pretty much always the weakest part of Pixar movies, and I think this one actually has a really good story, a really good plot going on. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. Do you know what's it, interesting? Do you know what I noticed? Yeah. We've been mm-hmm. talking about this for like a good three or four minutes now. We didn't bring up Dory once. Oh yeah, because Dory sucks. Because Dory sucks. That's something I'm gonna say. <laughs> is that I feel like they needed someone marketable, like a uh, Scrat from Ice Age. They needed somebody marketable for the kids to be like, "Oh, Dory, she's yeah. so goofy." And they got this was what I was talking about with Ellen DeGeneres, yeah. right? But she, her character is just so annoying. Yeah. And the fact that I don't like Ellen DeGeneres just sort of makes her even more annoying. And she adds nothing to the plot. Yeah, I don't like. I just I don't like I her. I don't like Dory. That was like a huge misstep in my opinion. Yeah. Otherwise, this movie would be fucking. Re- it's pretty much perfect. I really like Marlon and all the other yeah. characters except for Dory. Pretty much only the yeah. fact that they center they centered um the can we transition to Finding Dory now? Yeah, the I think we've that pretty much everything Finding about Dory Finding like Nemo. around her. Finding Dory also felt like a direct to DVD series. Yeah, oh, really I hated animation. Finding Dory. Yeah, Finding Dory is probably the worst. I of didn't these hate it. Besides, like Sister Story Four. I didn't. I didn't hate it. Um, I hated it. I don't know, man. I had fun in the theater. Mm-hmm. I just barely remember anything about it because it's so forgettable. I like the octopus. That's the octopus was cool. The octopus feels like a toy grab yeah. to me. I don't know. I'd buy a toy of that fucking octopus. So does Baby Dory. Yeah. Oh my Baby god. Baby Dory is such is such Dory. toy bait. Yeah. Oh god. Such toy bait. So yeah, I don't yeah, know. There's not much to say about Finding Dory. Hungry. Oh my god. God damn you. Yeah. Finding Nemo is making me hungry. Yeah. Fuck. Finding Dory is very. Finding Dory is very. 
generic and boring mm-hmm. and uninteresting. And again, it signals the downfall of Pixar oh because God. it's like the definition of a cash grab like, sequel. Nobody wanted to. Nobody, nobody wanted, wanted to, to make, make it. it. Nobody wanted to see it. But it made a shit ton of money anyway. Nothing in the story like warranted anything yeah, just, to continue God. from it. It's just the water so, looks about as good. Yeah, they haven't improved exactly. anything. I think the Incredibles is the the only one that like you could potentially like spin off another story from, which is why the sequel worked well for me. Yeah, and all I the other movies are perfectly standalone yep. movies. I like, agree. You don't need anything else from than what you already got. Even you know? Toy Story, I'd argue, even though I like Toy Story two, and we're going to discuss it soon. I think Toy Story one, if that was the only movie, yeah. that would have been a completely full, complete story of toys. Yeah, exactly. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me say that. <laughs> yeah, Finding Dory sucks. Don't so yeah, Finding Dory that. sucks. Okay. Dory is it's they chose the worst part of Finding Nemo, and it was like, yeah, let's make a movie about that because it's marketable. Because it's marketable. So Finding Nemo yeah. is great. Finding Dory sucks. That is all. Big surprise. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta get some water. Oh, yeah, I, have, sure. I have a bottle. I'm just gonna drink a little bit. Oh yeah, my god, it's gulping so loud. Please don't do it. I actually, I'm not sure. I actually kind of want to talk about Toy Stories one and two now. If that's okay. I don't remember them too well, but uh-huh. they never re- they never left a huge impression on me as a kid. Okay, I never watched them that much. I mm-hmm. again, I hate Woody so much. <laughs> the The Buzz Lightyear standalone movie made a more of a, much more of an impression on me than Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a um, joke, but like he's straight just, up serious. My personal a, a huge pet peeve I had, not even with the movies, but with toy manufacturers. Interesting. Let's hear it. It's so hard to find just like the actual toys <laughs> from the movie. They always have like. They always have like a Buzz plushie or whatever the fuck. Like, oh my I don't God. want a Buzz plushie. I, want a buzz. I want a Buzz like just like he's in the movie. Like, it's all, so yeah, all awful. the ones, all the ones in real life are also really nerfed. Like, he has a lot less joint movement, and he yeah, just looks bad. It sucks. Yeah, it's just bad. I don't know. Yeah. And I think literally I none of them had the karate chop action thing because I think the, you poke someone's yeah. eye out with that. I don't understand why I've like never seen an accurate toy from mm-hmm. a character from Toy Story. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Out of don't fucking, understand. out of like committed actual playground genocide for a Buzz to ki- a toy as a kid to get Buzz to yeah, get yeah, Buzz. Yeah. That would have been such a cool toy, but never. It was never I think, possible. I I think Buzz is such an amazing character yeah, design. Cool. Like the way he looks is so great. He's literally I love me. Buzz, yeah. but. These movies I don't, I don't care for much because I don't mm-hmm. like any of the other toys and I hate Woody. That makes sense. And I also I can live with that. again I, I just I can't get invested in the whole oh toys care about being played by with the kids like I just I can't I don't buy it. Yeah, I thought <laughs> it was a little. Du- I thought no, I thought it was a little dumb that the toys care about being All played right. with. That's dumb. Even I, even I was, well, when I was a kid, the toys don't. Like, Andy dumb. does. Uh, not Andy. Uh, Woody does. Woody's, yeah, so Woody sucks. I mean, I don't know. Like Jesse Buzz and Lightyear Toy Story care- Two was like, oh, I. Golly, I wish I was played with by a horse girl. Well, she's know? just female Woody. That's true. Good point. Buzz doesn't give like, a shit. Buzz, Buzz is about his from, own shit. Yeah. From what I remember, from what I remember, Buzz doesn't give a shit. Buzz doesn't really give a shit. Yeah, because he's, he's an alpha male chat. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Anyways, you talk about these movies. I don't. Have yeah, I don't know. Them, um, I don't like them very much. I I love them a lot as a kid. I still think that parts of them really hold up. I think Toy Story One especially still looks really good despite the like limitations they had at the time. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah. I do enjoy the plot of it. Weirdly enough. Uh, where it's just, I really, I don't know, uh, where it's just a really simple one where they're, the majority of the conflict just comes from, they were moved next door and the entire plight of the film is trying to get back to the original house. It's just a really simple yeah. story. I love the villain as well. I think Sid, I think a, a lot of the time, Sid is great. yeah, a, a lot of the time it's just scared the shit out of me as a kid. So scary. But like, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I just like the concept of a dumb fuck kid as the villain, I guess. That's why I liked them. Um, yeah. I can't remember the brace of girl's name from Finding Nemo, but right? But she was just yeah, terrifying. but yeah, 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 yeah. And Sid is very similar to that, where he's just some dumb fuck kid who likes torturing toys, and that's uh, that's the villain of the movie, and that's a very realistic villain to have. And the for toys, toys he makes are so <laughs> scary. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the toys he makes, like the spider baby or whatever. Yeah, like holy what shit. the hell was that? And this is also like <laughs> that was actual. That was actual horrific yeah, imagery, shit. like for a child, and that's why it's really interesting. Still like is. as a kid, that was like a really cool twist to me, where uh, they mm-hmm. they look hideous, but they're actually just trying to help. At, at the time, yeah, that was ex- yeah, yeah, yeah. an extremely unique way to go about it. No, not no other kids' movies really doing that. Too. Yeah, it's like in every other kids' movie, like you look at Snow White, it's like ah, oh, they're evil. They're they're evil uh, because they're ugly, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, that's what I really enjoyed yeah, about yeah, Toy Story. Yeah. I think parts of like, like parts like that still Bro. really hold up. Wait. We gotta make a movie about Shrek one and two. Oh, not a movie, a uh, movie. Uh, an episode. We probably make Roblox that a two parter. So we probably need to make a two parter. I can talk <laughs> to make an entire episode about Shrek and then an entire episode about Shrek two. <laughs> yeah, scene by scene. Scene by section. scene. <laughs> but yeah, those are two brilliant films. Uh, it's. I not... think. I think. I think the Shrek movies are better than every Pixar movie. I. I, I have to agree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unironically, Look, Shrek unironically. two is like probably one of the greatest films ever. So that's not entirely fair. Maybe the Incredibles. Maybe but the Incredibles. Then, like, I'd much then. rather watch Shrek yeah. too. <laughs> no, that's why I, I, I avoided mentioning them just because they sort of make Pixar all of them sort of pale in comparison. Just because, yeah. oh man, I don't know. Brilliant movies. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to discuss them at some it's, point. I'm still trying to figure out whether or not it's just nostalgia, but I don't no, think, I it don't is think it is because I've watched them so many times in the past yeah. like year and they're still so funny like no, there was literally so a point where whenever me and Mark didn't know what else to do we just sort of come over to my house and watch Shrek 2 yeah. it's just it's what, just what we do it's look what, I want to put it on in the background right now I put on Toy Story just to refresh myself I'm gonna put on Shrek 2 right now Shrek 2 is really we, we definitely have to make an entire we, have, we can talk about that movie side oh by scene God. by scene it's incredible bro Jokes aside, like mm-hmm. the I need a hero scene actually sends That's shivers down my spine every time still, I watch it. No, like, it's even to this day, I have to admit, goosebumps. Yeah. Goose like, no, I'm imagining it. Yeah, oh, so good. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, okay. Anyways, what movie were we talking about? We were, to- <laughs> we were talking about Toy Story, <laughs> where um, really, like Mark's hatred towards it has sort of helped me see it in a more critical light. Aspects of it do not age too well. There's I don't hate Toy Story. Mark hates Toy Story. I hate Woody. I don't hate the Mark movies. hates Toy Story. I just, they just don't make a huge impression on me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Toy Story One, I still really love. Um, it's also very watchable to me, in my opinion. Um, yeah, not much else to say. I don't know. I think they're really good. I enjoy the plot. I in- actually enjoy the characters. They're, even though I'll admit Woody's a bit of a bastard. They're kind of like. They're kind of uh, in- like the first one is kind of inconsequential though. That's probably why I don't remember it too mm. much. Like not a lot actually happens in it, you know, because it was kind of a tech demo, right? I guess that makes sense. So. Yeah, uh, I don't, like, it's really short, not mm-hmm. a lot happens, I guess, yeah, like, I remember the characters well enough, like, Mr. Potato Head, the dinosaur, right, the mm-hmm. Bo Peep, mmm. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yeah, the dinosaur is played right, by the made, Battle of Wits guy. They made her thick in the fourth one, though. They made, they made her thick in the <laughs> fourth they, one, They, knew what they, were they, do- they knew what they were doing in the fourth one. <laughs> But I don't know, uh, sort of... They're like, all right, this... Yeah. yeah. What I took... Why I think especially that to, as much as I do enjoy Toy Story 2, I really feel like it would be better off not existing. Because what I took away from Toy mm-hmm. Story 1, right, is that um, mm-hmm. is that Woody's kind of a selfish prick in the beginning, and that later on he learns yes. to actually accept Buzz and be his friend, and see that, hey, you know, this is... Andy's more important than my selfish shit, Right. As as dumb as yeah. that is, that's a very fair arc for him to have, and he no, seems no, no. like a buzz is more important. Clear, <laughs> that would be the correct. Choice. Okay, there we go. Let's go with that one. Epiphany. But he yeah. he actually strikes me as someone who's learned a lot and actually learns to become a decent person by the end. And then with the rest yeah. of the movies, they just kind of completely throw away any arc he could have had in Toy Story One. He just continues to exactly. be a bastard. So it's like, why I do did like you Toy do Story this? Two. I do enjoy Toy Story 2. I watched yeah. a lot as a kid. Toy Story 2 is yeah. still really good. We're going to discuss that in a second. But that's one thing that I feel I really actually... took away from Toy Story 1 with yeah, the sequels. Yeah, you finish your thing. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm almost done. Sorry. Mm. Uh, but that's one thing yeah. I feel was really taken away by the Toy Story sequels is that Woody hasn't learned anything. He hasn't changed at all. And all the other toys, especially Buzz, changes a shit ton. That's probably why yeah, you exactly. hate him so much because he hasn't changed at all. No, not just that. I just hate people like Woody. He also you know? just sucks. Yeah, that's true. He cares about some sort of like goal he says to himself is like noble or whatever when it's really just selfish. Yeah, exactly. And he kind of just dis- disregards everyone else. Yeah, I really don't like Woody. You know, I've actually I- I'm having an epiphany right now. You know why? I think I've just never like, loved the Toy Story movies. Why? Never connected with them. I, I was never attached to toys uh, as a kid. Like never. Like I-, I was much more attached to movies as a kid. Like Interesting. I- I- Shrek Two still means so much to me, right? Because I watched it so That's much true. as a kid. Yeah. Toys were kind of just a pastime. Mm-hmm. I, I was never emotionally attached to any toy I've ever had. Yeah, I'd um, yeah, I'd say that mostly me for the first part. There were some Ninja Turtles toys I had that I fucking 
Oh, oh that I totally, yo. most of them are fucking, we're it's make very interesting. Episode. Oh, dude, <laughs> yeah, that'd be an awesome episode. <laughs> but it, it's very funny. I had, like, all four of them as toys, right? And the only one that survived yeah. my child, my child, like, playing is Donatello. <laughs> Oh, that's because he's the that's one I played. Because he's the one I played with the least. It's like who gives a shit? He's some fuckhead oh, with a that's stick, funny. and that's funny, right? Because oh I didn't play with yeah. him as much. But yeah, the other oh, three are completely seven destroyed. Seven ball stuff. Sorry. Oh my <laughs> god! So I put on Toy Story because I realized Shrek Two isn't on Netflix anymore. Right. And it says in the credits, it says screenplay by Joss Whedon. No, really? <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Huh. It's weird, right? I mean, the it's Avengers. basically Infinity War. <laughs> yeah. Well, he didn't direct Infinity <laughs> yes, he War. Did. That's probably why it was good. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I took it back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Toy Story. Yeah. I don't know. Parts of it are definitely not as good as I remember, but a lot of it still holds up, in I my get... opinion. Mm-hmm. It's actually... Okay, you were talking uh, about visually, attachment. Go on. Yeah. Visually, it doesn't appeal to me as much as their other movies, like mm-hmm. The Incredibles. I think their costumes look awesome. And yeah. Two, I think, just looks really nice in general. You know, that's probably why it stood out to me in my head more as a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. No, this is what's interesting, is that, like, um, as a kid, I actually, like, I didn't, I did have a few action figures. Like, there was also a Spider-Man one I remember being really attached to. But I was honestly mostly, like, a Lego and Bionicle kid, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, when I saw Bionicle the Mask of Light for the first time, I'm going to say this right oh. here. I'm going to say this right here. That's a bad movie. But I fucking love it. <laughs> I adore that movie. I, bro, I, okay, S- same. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Bionicles were like a, Bionicles were a luxury item back <laughs> from where I come from. Yeah. So I had like the fake ones, mm-hmm. but I loved the Bionicle Web of Shadows movie so much. That one's a lot worse. <laughs> I hate it, but that one's still really good. No, you haven't seen it. it. We've discussed this before. But uh, mm-hmm. that's why uh, I I don't know when when's the next time we're going to be able to discuss fucking Bionicle again. So I just want to briefly talk about it. Uh, it's funny because <laughs> I'm staring at the Discord that we're talking about right now, and the main character is my profile picture. <laughs> yep. <laughs> On Discord, There's the main character. Yeah, Takua. I think it's different characters in the. Mask oh, it's a completely thing. different, completely Not different. Not Mask of Light in the Web of Shadows. Yeah, Web of Shadows is yeah. a completely different movie about a completely different generation of Toa. Yeah, it's just very different. But yeah, Mask of Light. I remember it was. I, yeah, I remember it was like uh, it had a really cool arc where one of the main characters kind of like went evil by the Whoa. end. He got like corrupted. That was That's really crazy. Cool. That's getting... so unique and cool. Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. So we're gonna talk about this briefly, just because I have no idea when Bionicle: The Mask of Flight is ever gonna come up again. But um, <laughs> it was actually IG Alex who pointed out uh, that the plot is the exact same as Lord of the Rings. It's like this very standard MacGuffin-based adventure, but it's about Bionicles, yeah. so it's instantly awesome. So that's all. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome, exactly. Even though like they kind of cheated, like like the environment is just kind of rock and grass. It's not like a Lego or Bionicle-based yeah. environment, which was even as a kid I felt was like a little jarring. Does well. Lego Movie did a good job with that. As much as I'm very lukewarm about that everything, movie, w- everything was made. Out they of did a really good insane. job with that. But with Bionicle, they kind of yeah. they kind of just went a really cheap route. It definitely feels like a cash grab movie, but I I love it. They grabbed my cash. I have it on DVD because it is they, because it is. <laughs> they grabbed my cash. I have it on DVD. I love that movie. It is probably the quintessential definition of I physically incapable of removing my nostalgia for it. But I can admit that yeah. it isn't very good. But I fucking adore that movie. It's a movie about bionicles like that's yeah. all you have to like, know well, about how it. can you, you just not like discuss it. that exactly how can you how do you discuss it like yeah. anything other than look it's a movie about bionicles like, that's all you need to yeah. know. like, like the main thing i really love go on yeah go ahead no you go ahead i was gonna say back to the topic at hand oh no I, there's still one more thing i want to talk about <laughs> just gonna talk about bionicles okay. i'm gonna bring this up briefly because like one thing that i didn't like about action figures is like i was a violent ass kid so i wanted to make my shits fight right and uh, mm-hmm. if you make two action figures fight, there's not much that you can really change. But what I really loved about Bionicle yeah. is you could sort of give them a bladed you weapon rip their arms and then off. rip their arms off, yeah, and have them decapitate <laughs> each other. I thought shit like that was really cool, right? That's sort of what made Bionicle really yeah. unique. I had a lot more connection to, like Lego and Bionicle based stuff than I did actual action figures. But Toy Story still spoke to me. I still really enjoyed it. Back to they're the topic again. Like, they're still making. I think there was like a Hero Factory movie or something. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't actually it's care. Like, Hero like, Factory uh, didn't should they, die. Didn't, didn't they, didn't they discontinue? They did discontinue Bionicles, Bionicles back in, in like two thousand. Yeah, back in like a while ago. Man, now. yeah, man. I don't know how. I don't know just why. You, that, you know. Just, just, just thinking of that photo of King Kong sitting down with the caption, <laughs> man, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is that Bionicles even after Bionicle was officially discontinued, they made a couple more Star Wars ones. 
Like, can you ma- can you? Oh, they did. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine a general Grievous Bionicle? Oh, That'd be kind of sick, he's already right? a Bionicle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wouldn't he make a sick Bionicle? <laughs> but yeah, and then those were discontinued. There's basically no Bionicle anymore, which really sucks because I think they fucking. We gotta, ass. we gotta talk about Star Wars at some point because, <laughs> oh boy, Star Wars. Star Wars is certainly an interesting sucks. bag to 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 unpack. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're so off topic. Yeah. Uh, that's all I have to say about Toy Story. Yeah. Um. Let's yeah. discuss Toy Story two. I don't have much to say. I don't think Mar- I think Mark has even less. Yeah, Toy so. Story two. I, I like. I, I watched as a kid more because it's just more fun. There's more locations, you know. That's true. You yeah. have more action in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't remember a lot about it. Again, I don't give a shit about these movies. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's gonna piss off a lot of people, especially a dear friend of ours. But still, <laughs> I don't know. I I really like him, but I don't. I totally see where Mark's indifference comes from. If you, it's one of those things where it's sort of similar to Miyazaki, actually, where if you don't connect with the characters. Oh. There's not there's not all that much it can really do for you. Actually, that's different. You know, but Miyazaki is better. But go on. You know what? You know what was a better Toy Story movie? What was a better Toy Story movie, Mark? I actually, I, I was gonna bring up two movies actually. So okay. one of them is Night at the Museum, where Fuck Owen off. Wilson and like some other guy <laughs> are like off. tiny. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fallout New Vegas. And there's this, and there's oh my god, Romans and Capitals. And continue. there's this other movie. There's this other movie called Small Soldiers. Have you seen that movie? I have not seen that movie. With a, a bunch of like, with a bunch of army toys who Wait, like go evil. I remember. And start I, I, I killing think I people. saw like. I think <laughs> I saw like a review of it. I've never actually seen that movie. It's, it's awesome. I, I loved it as a kid. I, 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 I think you have problems. That movie's fucked. It's like, it's like, it's like if Toy Story was really like evil. Really, <laughs> fucking know? yeah, evil, really. mean spirited, and ugly. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. I love it. It's okay, so it's certainly interesting. <laughs> and yeah, the, the concept of tiny little people running around in a town like in Night at the Museum was much more cool to me than toys coming to life. I think you're I don't dumb know why I equate those two movies. I think you're my dumb. Head, I have no idea. Yeah, I see what you're I coming from. Like a, yeah, I, I always wanted like a town of actual small people. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, that's. I. I just think you're stupid and dumb. And that, yeah, not a museum is fun. It's an interesting. Yeah, it, it's interesting that you bring it up because it is sort of similar to like uh, the humans are away. Let's be real. So I can definitely see why you mm-hmm. connected the two, but that's still just that's just a weird movie to bring up. Still, <laughs> that was one of my other favorite childhood movies. It's so much fun. There's so much like fun stuff in it for kids. You I know? might have to watch it again. So. It's been a long time. I, I haven't watched it in like ten years, <laughs> or like, <laughs> or like even more than that. I just, I remember the sequel being the sequels being really boring though. Yeah, I remember that as well. Oh my god, we are so off topic. Yeah, the sequels. <laughs> anyway, okay, Toy Story okay, Two. Toy Story, yeah, whatever. I do like Toy the plot of it as well. I don't know. It's it's pretty similar <laughs> to the first one where they're just sort of away and they have to get back to original house. That's sort of the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I did enjoy the twist the first time they did it because they sort yes. of established. Yeah. yeah, they sort of established that just because he, Stinky Pete is like in canon, he's supposed to be kind of ugly, right? He's not really pleasant to look at. Mm-hmm. And they have established in the previous one that just because he's ugly doesn't mean he's a bad guy. But they sort of pull a double twist on you, and he actually mm-hmm. is the bad guy. As a kid, the first time they did yeah. it, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought they did. It, I thought that it was pretty neat. Like the first time they mm-hmm. did it, before they perverted it with three and four. Before they did it every single. Before movie. they did Especially it every single time. Every every Disney movie does that. Yeah. Too, like, Fucking you know? Frozen. Yeah. Ah. Oh my God! God frozen. damn it! Fucking <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> So yeah, yeah she can get it though, but like <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. uh, I do. I don't like that it sort of completely erased Woody's arc from the previous movie. Um, stuff like yeah. that. I don't love the new characters. Oh, the fucking thing they did with Bullseye, where they just make him a dog, despite the fact that he's a horse. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, he acts all yeah, dog like yeah, yeah. it's so weird. He's lot. like, mm-hmm, even though he's a horse, it's so weird. They do that a lot. They do that a lot. It's more marketable. Nobody wants to buy a horse toy, but this horse is yeah. dog like. I like I like dog. I like dags. Yeah, I, said, I like dags. <laughs> I like dags. <laughs> yeah, I like dags. Yeah, I like dags. Yeah, I like dags. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good ass reference. I hope somebody Snatch. gets it. That's from Don't the movie explain. Snatch. God damn you. But yeah, it's from Snatch. Great movie. I don't know when the fuck we're gonna discuss that yeah. one, but we got to at some point. It's really funny. Really good movie. <laughs> Maybe if we just discuss like funniest movies or something. Interesting. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. not much All to say right. about Toy Story uh, Two. It's it's a pretty good sequel. I want to say I don't like that they erased Woody's arc. Sort of, Buzz is an even cooler character. I like how they parodied Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I thought that was genuinely hilarious when I was younger. Is 
is Toy Story 2 the one where Buzz finds like a bunch of copies of himself? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I remember that. Yeah, that's remember pretty that. cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. No, and then there's like the Zerg toy that comes out, right? And then oh, yeah, and then they awesome. and then they get a confrontation and Buzz is like, You killed my father. And he goes, No, Buzz, I am your father. <laughs> it's like such a stupid, dumb <laughs> reference, but I loved it when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really cool. It's pretty great. Yeah. It's like, well, they can't reference other things in movies. <laughs> that was actually other this is a funny story. <laughs> I'm gonna make this brief because we're so off topic and we've been talking for so long. But yeah, uh, yeah, when yeah. I was it's like, fine, it's like slightly civil yeah, war. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where uh, when I was yeah. younger and I didn't really understand the concept of a reference. That, like, you could reference other things in mm-hmm. movies. And there's a scene in Shrek yeah, 2 yeah, yeah, yeah. where yeah, Shrek yeah. gets caught in a trap. And uh, his head is dipped in mud. And then while he's still upside down, Fiona, mm-hmm. like, wipes off the bottom of his his, uh, his mouth and kisses him. Like in Spider-Man. Right? Yeah. And, and when I was younger, my por- my parents saw that. And they're like, oh, look, John, it's Spider-Man. And I didn't understand what the concept of reference was. Like, what are you talking about? That's Shrek. What do you mean, that's Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of a Chad thing to yeah. say. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, I did. I just when I was young, I just yeah. did not grasp the concept of a reference, and now I think they they can. Yeah, now I think they exist. Yeah. All right. Anyways, that's all up to story two. Uh, I don't know. Not much to say. It's a good sequel. You, you have you have it's the okay. list. Yeah, I do have the list. Yeah, uh, we have two left. I'm gonna save What's the best next? for last, and the second best for second last. Yeah. Can't... Wait, what's second best? Well, you can, you can you know what's the one that we haven't discussed yet. Wally, Wally, oh, Wally yeah. your boy, yeah. Wally's, Wally's incredible. I Actually, love Wally. It, it it's I, aged so well. I want to speak for a bit. You go, Fred. Yeah, you go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you did all I've the talked story so much. So, yeah, my bad. Go on. So Wally, I watched for the first time when I was about eight or nine years old, right? And it was fun at the time. It was it was fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I rewatched it like last year. It's like a genuine work of art. Yeah. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I think Wally's so good. The first like forty minutes of it that are just completely silent mm-hmm. are so like endearing. You know, yeah. I, I I love the character design, the way his eyes kind of just like move down a little bit when he's like sad <laughs> or something. It's oh, it's so good, and the ending like I, they pull the fake death thing again, like they do in every movie. But for some reason, it just works really yeah. well, and I got really emotional over it. Yeah, I love Wally. Wally's amazing. Yeah. Okay, is that mm-hmm. it for now? Damn, you bored. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, wait, I was exactly going to bring yeah. that up as well, where, like, obviously, so the, the last, second half... Last great movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I still want to talk about Incredibles a bit more. No, I'm saying this is their last great oh, movie. Oh, this, this is, is their, their last great the movie, last... sorry. Yep, yeah, I know which exactly yeah, which yeah, yeah. That's pr- very true. Uh, so, yeah, mm-hmm. like, when it's, like, a, almost a... Because they're robots, right? They don't exactly, like, really talk, right? So the first bit, when it's, like, yeah. a silent film, it's genuine... It's so much fun to watch. And Wally, exactly what Mark brought up is it's his character great. design. I can't even really explain why. He's just so cute and fun to watch. All the, like, little <laughs> shit he's doing <laughs> is just... It's just so nice. And, like, the soundtrack is really good. I want to say, like... Because, like, the soundtrack has to carry a lot because there's not much dialogue in the beginning. And I never notice soundtrack, by the way. That's something with me. I think we're gonna yeah. have we're gonna have an art form tier list at some point. I think music is like an F tier art form, so I never <laughs> notice it. <laughs> so I literally never notice it. But in a movie like this, that where the, the music actually has to carry a lot. World. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's not incorrect though. I will I will st- I will die on that hill. That is a hill I'm willing yeah. to die on. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's what I so yeah. That's what I was gonna bring up. Where the soundtrack actually does a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning because there's almost no dialogue. Like there's this one scene where he's like, you know, those like ball racket things. Uh, no reminder. It's like ball on a string that you hit with a little racket, so you try to bounce them up. Oh yeah. There's yeah, this yeah, one yeah, scene yeah, where it yeah. syncs up with the soundtrack in the background. And that was so cool. I'm gonna yeah. try to look up that scene later. Maybe if you don't know what I'm talking about. I just. Should... Yeah. I just love like how Wally grabs things and then puts them on like shelves. <laughs> it's it's really cute. It's really it's adorable. Funny, yeah. Know? Yeah. It's this whole I don't know. Yeah, and then yeah. And there's this, yeah, this whole, There's there's this one scene that really stuck with me as a kid and I think when I grew up I I thought was really interesting where he straight up sees a corpse, right? And he notices that the tracks on the mm-hmm. corpse are better than his tracks, so he just changes them and keeps going. Damn. You know, yeah. yeah, you remember what I'm talking That's about, right? That's messed up. Where it's almost like That's messed cause, up. I yeah, cuz he's like the last one alive. Him seeing all these dead people around him yeah. is so much normal. And what's yeah. interesting is that like whatever program whatever like system uh, like de- um deployed him has long since passed away and, and burned up, right? 
Basically, where he's getting his orders from is essentially the robot equivalent of instinct. He has no idea why he's doing this, but he wakes up every morning and does mm. it anyway. Yeah. That just that just really spoke to me. It's, even as even as a kid, I noticed like, why is you know yeah. yeah. I wanna I wanna mention something else about the opening. Yes, go for it. It's uh, I think it's like the strongest representation of like an atmosphere in any Pixar mm-hmm. movie. Because the beginning is so again, you said it's fun to watch, right, yeah. and everything. But I also find it so incredibly like depressing, yeah. kind of almost it's exactly melancholic. What you mean. It's just, and the whole movie is kind of like that, you know. It's it straddles the line between very fun and kind of like, yeah, fun ch- kids movie. But at the same time, it's a very like, I just like profoundly sad. Yeah. almost. like it's he's literally like making cities of the box. Yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah. How Walt, he just wants to hold her hand the whole movie. I'm like, oh my god. Like, like, it's so like right so at the end. Oh like, god, it's so fuck. nice. Uh, okay, anyway. But yeah, like, how, like the, this is also something. I was like curious what you thought of this, but like the color palette in the beginning, right? It's pretty much just gray garbage everywhere. Mm-hmm. But it's not unpleasant oh, yeah. to look at, ever. It's very orange, too. Yeah, as well. It's probably because of like, the of yellowness rust. of Wally and how bright he is. Uh, transposed with the mm-hmm. grayness of the garbage still looks really nice. Yeah. But yeah, so... No, it looks that. it looks great. This is a great yeah. looking movie too. Yeah, the like, ship. It, and then when they get to the human ship, it looks great too. Yeah, they did a good job. But I don't know, any movie that's able to make a cockroach like kind of cute is very impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this little... Did, pi- like this is one... How... Sorry, go on. No, no, no. It's just a weird fact I want to yeah. bring up. We'll bring it up then. Uh, should I bring it the it? fuck up then? Okay, so <laughs> there's a lot of weird Mac references in this movie, like Apple references. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, they, they so knew what when, they were doing. When Wally touches like the galaxy thing when he's flying to the ship, that looks like the Mac default background. That's pretty like, interesting. I did not know that. Uh, and then when he powers up at the end, that that's oh, literally yeah. the, the Mac powering <laughs> on noise. That's just interesting. That's weird. I wonder, also, Eve looks like an Apple product. Holy shit, that's really interesting. Yeah. I wonder if by and large was supposed to be like a stand-in for Apple, because there's no way Apple would let them do that shit. <laughs> that's very interesting. Yeah. By and large was like the company that was basically their fault. Well, they also work with Apple a lot. Pixar is like pretty pretty uh, up close and personal with Apple. Yeah, I which think. is double reason so. why they wouldn't want to be like, hey, you guys fucking suck, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So honestly, like the be- yeah, like mm-hmm. the beginning is it's just him of him fucking around in garbage and playing around with this cockroach and recharging. That's such so much fun to watch. It's really great. And then Eve it's shows great. up, yeah. and uh, he has his love interest. This is like the only other robot he's probably seen in forever because he's like the last one on mm-hmm. at least his very wide area, probably on the entire planet, right? And it's just like, what yeah. do you do when you see when you see? Honestly, Eve kind of get it. All right, I think I'm just gonna say that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, obviously, but like. I mean, it's difficult. Uh, no, you're not. I'm it's not. difficult to gauge attractiveness for robots, right? It's difficult to like sort of gauge with that, right? <laughs> but you can tell, like, she's yeah. all clean, she's all skinny. I don't know. Like, she's clearly yeah. very attractive to him. So obviously, he falls directly. She's got in love. curves. She got curves too. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I do think that. Um, yeah, I do think that some of this. Uh, I do think that. What was I? I don't know what the fuck I was going to bring up. Anyway, you talk for a bit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Talk yeah, about yeah. how, um, like, the transition to the ship, yeah, because we talked enough about, like, him being on yeah. Earth and how awesome uh, that part is. Everybody everybody always says that, like, the first half of this movie is great and mm-hmm. then the rest kind of isn't, but I, I disagree. really disagree. Yeah, I disagree a lot. Um, I think the second half of this movie is also great. Like, the villain is the villain is great, too. Like, the, like the <laughs> His part, voice, not too. The, not tardis, oh. the Gladys-looking yeah. thing. Yeah. Know? And I, I really like... I really like they don't overdo the humans, but yeah. they're there and they're like fun to watch mm-hmm. and they make a they make a point about like humanity and like capitalism and mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of other Pixar movies don't even go near mm-hmm. like social commentary. Like I, I was gonna say, one, I was gonna yeah. bring up sorry, just very briefly that most like, like we talked about in um, like the Miyazaki movie with Princess Mononoke as well, where a lot of pro environmental messages tend to come off really preachy and annoying. Uh, I think this movie did a really mm-hmm. good job with actually saying something about environment and not being too annoying about it. I think what they said was genuinely pretty yeah. simple and yet pretty profound. I don't even think they say anything. I think mm-hmm. they just show you what could potentially yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's much more strong than somebody <laughs> trying to make an argument as to why 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's it's much stronger than somebody telling you it because they just kind of exactly. Because this that makes was, a lot of sense. Yeah. Th- this movie kind of this movie kind of fucked me up when I first saw uh-huh. it, right? Because it's 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 a pretty I would say like. Well, obviously it's a Pixar movie. Mm-hmm. It's exaggerated, but it, it's 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 a pretty like plausible yeah <laughs> kind of like future yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah like they they literally grind down food into like a drink now, which is what they so do you already don't even have for to like chew? astronauts yeah. and stuff. That's interesting. Yeah, and they all drive around and like I'm I'm sitting on like a beanbag chair right now, mm. which looks like the chairs they sit on oh in my the movie, God. you know. <laughs> yeah. Like uh Yeah, it's just Yeah. There's also this one scene I wanted to bring up where um everybody seems to be like talking on the phone or like looking at their little screens pretty much twenty four seven. And as soon as Wally mm-hmm. shows up and accidentally like uh severs one of them, they notice what wait, I didn't know we had a pool and there's this massive fucking yeah. pool in the middle of the ship. That takes up, like, this entire yeah. area. And it's just, like, interesting. Uh, it sort of talks about how much you're, like... God damn it. I don't know how to sound, like, not a boomer, but, like, how much you could be on your damn phone. Stuff like that. Yeah. And, like, a not very annoying or preachy way. Where it's, like, genuinely you just miss a lot of things that happen around you if you're on your damn phone. I... I hate that kind of message in anything else, but in yeah. this movie it really works. It really didn't feel ham-fisted at all. I, I, um... Yeah. I can't even explain why. It yeah. just kind of does. You know? It just kind of works. I don't know. It doesn't feel... None of this feels preachy. That's one of the main things I really think has going for it. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And there's one little part yeah, about the... Pl- uh, go on. You go on from yeah, it. go ahead. No, I don't have anything else oh, to sick. say. I'm just like, yeah, this is a great movie. Yeah. I love it. There's one little I aspect the of the end. plot I thought was kind of <laughs> stupid when I was a kid. And I have a kind of different interpretation mm-hmm. of it now. I'm not sure if it's a correct one. Okay. But, um... <clears throat> like the whole point of Eve coming to Earth was to find a plant, like some sort of organic life, mm-hmm. to show that a l- life on Earth was sustainable. And the fact that this plant survived in a refrigerator with no sunlight and no food and no water mm-hmm. was a little stupid, mm-hmm. I will admit, was a little bit yeah. contrived. But at the same time, uh, what this plant essentially means is that life on Earth is sustainable. And that some, uh, and then the captain basically goes, oh, things have changed. You know, something happened. Life on Earth is sustainable. When nothing at all actually happened on Earth. Earth is exactly the same, if not worse, than it was before. But oh, it's sort of, cool. yeah. It sort of shows that uh, the only thing that can keep Earth sustainable is human, is trying, basically. So they were convinced yeah. that life yeah, on Earth was sustainable. Even though, yeah. Exactly. So th- they were convinced that life on Earth was completely sustainable because something changed. Well, nothing really changed at all. All that changed is they started trying and they started planting stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. That's an that that's an example of one of their endings as like positive, but yeah. not in a way so that you don't have any consequences for the movie. It's more just positive. Yeah. As it's like it's more like just positive because that's the message of the movie, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, um, I don't really have any issue. I don't have with much it. to say about it. There's oh yeah, that one sure. scene where they go to like go to like all the, the all the robots that are like um how do I put this damaged and they all break <laughs> yeah. out together. Oh, that's such a cool. When I was a kid, I was like, oh fuck yeah! I thought it was so yeah. cool as a kid, which is even more interesting because yeah. I had the Wally DS game as well. <laughs> interesting. It was not good. Okay. It was like it was like a glorified puzzle game. I had. You know what what animated Disney movie I had a game of that didn't work on my computer? Uh, Bolt. What the fuck? Have that would have been an interesting Bolt? one. I have seen Bolt. Yes. Oh my god. John Travolta Bolt dog. Like yeah. Dream. Nobody remembers that. That's movie. a really weird movie. No uh, <laughs> I have seen it. But it was a Disney animated movie. And like the cat yeah, was, was I think weird. Miley Cyrus was the cat or something. Really? I, I might be oh, wrong. I might be remembering that wrong, but yeah. John Travolta dog yeah, is just I not just... allowed. I just I just remember the I remember how the game was like about Bolt having like superpowers and defeating bad guys and I'm like, did you guys watch the movie? <laughs> like did you guys That's watch the movie? <laughs> Bolt I watched a lot as a kid for some reason. I don't know why. Me too. Uh, more than I should have, because that movie's <laughs> awful. It's not good. It's not I wish I'd rewatch it. Okay. Yeah, no. Maybe. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all right, back to Wally. Yeah, Wally. Yeah, there's not much to say it. that hasn't already been said. It's one of those things. Uh, it's incredible. It's not as was, incredible as The Incredibles, but a very close yeah. second. I was shocked by how much I liked it on rewatch because yeah. I don't remember loving it that much as a kid. I was obsessed. I was straight up. I was kind of obsessed with this movie as a kid. That's why I, I, I asked it for the Wally DS on, like game. TV. I watched mm-hmm. it like once on TV in like Israel and. <laughs> 
I was like, that was cool, and then I forgot about it. Nice. And then I rewatched it like last year, and I was like, oh my god, this is like the most emotionally powerful. Like, <laughs> it's, it's very I've good. Seen. Yeah, it does pull the sort of bait and switch <laughs> where you think so Wally's Jenny gonna die, and then he just kind of ends up fine. And they pull a bait yeah, and switch on you again because he forgets his memory and but then it instantly works. remembers it. But <laughs> but it works. You're yeah. so invested in these characters at this point where it does work. Yeah, I have to agree. A character, a character that doesn't say a character that doesn't say for shit. Wally and Eva. <laughs> <laughs> but again, as you pointed out, yeah. just the way his eyes sort of just like they're just sort of yeah. Anyway, exactly. Yeah, it's like so it's like Shrek's ears right? when they flop down when he's sad. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, next movie. We're pretty much our done with Wally. Favorite, our absolute favorite. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you, you get us started this time. Oh, wow. thank you. I think I will. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will, though. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, The Incredibles. What hasn't been said? It's incredible. It's um, The Incredibles? That's it? Yeah. Right, it's, it's, it's about <laughs> good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 11 p.m., so my thoughts are slowing down right now. We, we sort of decided to record this yeah. late because we're dumb. But uh, mm-hmm. it's really goddamn good. I think that it has a really unique opening. Like, especially for a Pixar movie, even though it's just kind of like an interview thing. Oh, yeah. I think that was, I thought that was really I unique. love it. Yeah, where you got it's to like, so see. so cool. And then, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. and then you finally figure out that Frozone is like the coolest individual who's ever existed. Yeah. And the, uh, it's really cool. And um, the plot is, yeah. is extremely unique, honestly. Like, uh, I want to... so good. I've always yeah. talked about this Watchmen. as... Exactly. I've always described it as sort of Watchmen for kids. Uh, if you haven't read or, if you haven't yeah. read Watchmen, I highly recommend you do. Uh, it brought a very interesting idea with if superheroes happen in real life, they probably get sued, <laughs> which is yeah, really fucking really unique, weird. which is really unique. Nothing else yeah. ever has really discussed something like that, except for like the boys, but that's different. Yeah. Um, where the incredible uh, sort of and, like, sorry, go on. Were you saying something? And invincible and invincible and invincible, which, which I have not watch. seen yet, which apparently is pretty good. I'd be so down. I'd be so down to make an episode on that. Like, I feel like there's a lot to discuss. Okay, yeah, yeah I, I'll torrent it at yeah. some. I mean, I'll download it legally yeah. at some uh, point. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so cut that out. Um, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No, you won't. No. No. <laughs> so yeah, um, it, it brings a lot of really unique things to the table that, like, honestly, as a kid, you probably didn't really grasp as well. Um. A lot of the like, especially that whole like uh, him saving somebody who com- who tried to commit suicide and then getting sued from that. That is such yeah. a unique concept uh, for a super for like a superhero dark thing. Too really dark, weirdly <laughs> enough, right? And like, and then, and then they pull the best one scene villain ever. <laughs> bon voyage, voyage. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I feel like it's better if you don't speak French, <laughs> so but he's so funny. Yeah. It's such a, <laughs> such a funny cartoony <laughs> villain, uh, but he genuinely yeah, has like deal. He genuinely tries to toss an explosive on a child, so it's like, oh wait, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> but yeah, bomb for you. <laughs> bomb such a good name. It's so cool. <laughs> so basically, yeah, Mister Incredible tries to save somebody who committed suicide, who's try who like jumped off a building, right? And mm-hmm. uh, in there, he just so happens to meet Bomb Voyage. Just this French guy who's bomb, who's bomb stuff. It's so awesome, but yeah, and uh, so funny. yeah, and then this little kid shows up, and he's like, "Oh, cool, I can help you." And he's like, "You're a dumb fuck kid. I don't want you to help me." I mean, and, yeah, and uh, yeah. then and then uh, and then the kid leaves, and then Bomb Voyage actually slips a bomb on the kid. So now it's incredible, like, because because the kid can fly. He invented uh, boots while he was like nine, mm-hmm. which is like he's yeah, like yeah, obviously yeah. a genius, but like Mr. Incredible doesn't deal want to deal with a kid. So yeah, exactly. the kid flies away, and Bomb Voyage actually sticks a sticky onto the kid. And so Mr. Incredible now has to abandon mm-hmm. Bomb Voyage and try to save this kid from fucking dying from the explosion. So yeah. he does that, and Bomb Voyage gets away as a result. And then he tells this kid, basically, I'm not affiliated. That's a really funny scene, by the way. <laughs> where he's like, uh, where he tells the cop, like, his name is Buddy or something, I don't really remember. And he goes, Incredible, and he goes, I'm not affiliated with you. <laughs> stuff like that yeah and yeah that's and then yeah um okay yeah. mm-hmm. you can continue that's sort of like the first yeah. little bit you can continue. no yeah oh just a, we don't have to summarize the movie everybody yeah i sort of accidentally um, summarized i don't know i just sort of when talking about stuff i like i, think, I just kind of want, want to describe everything yeah i want to nice. yeah i just want to describe what i, what I love about this movie so mm-hmm. much I, I put it on right now it's every <laughs> first of all i think it combines everything that's like the best part of every other pixar movie mm-hmm. and puts it into one movie you got you have like really long, really well written, very human like just conversations mm-hmm. between people, like Ratatouille does, right? Yeah. 
you have incredible action set pieces. Mm-hmm. You have a very interesting story that that hasn't really been done in another Pixar movie. Mm-hmm. It's just you have this just like the best character design like yeah. ever. It's, every character it looks so good. It's just uh, I love this one. The music is amazing. Even you the music yeah, the music, yeah, the music like, is really good in that movie. Yeah, yep. it's just it's such a it's such a good movie. They, like, this they is one of my yeah, favorite movies like so of all good. time. Uh, they yeah. they pulled the TF2 thing where they realized that the silhouette is probably the most important part of any character. Just being able to instantly the recognize what? the silhouette. Oh, Just yeah. Just being yeah, able yeah. to instantly yeah. recognize them apart from each other, right? Like, Mr. Incredible, like, <laughs> even though it makes no logistical sense, right? The fact that Mr. Incredible is that huge and nobody's been like, what the fuck is wrong yeah. with you makes no sense. But you yeah, can instantly yeah. set him apart from, like, his wife or his kid or his daughter. Like, instantly. And that's yeah. really important in character yeah. design, in my opinion. Like, especially in animated things. <laughs> TF2 invented character design. Yes, they TV, did. Huh? Yes, they did. They they perfected okay. it. What do you want from right. me? What do you want from me? They did. Yeah, this movie, this movie. It's like a problem I have with Toy Story is that not a lot happens, right? Mm-hmm. And there is just like one location for most of it. This movie, everything happens. Like it's there's so many locations. They they clearly spared no expense on anything. Mm-hmm. The animation is beautiful, right? Uh, the action's so much fun. Yeah, the dialogue just, is great. The action is amazing. Mm-hmm. The dialogue is fantastic. All the characters are amazing. That's actually a point. Like I really don't like what they did with a lot of the characters in Incredibles. Yeah, 2. I have to agree. Even Frozen's weirdly this movie, later in Incredibles too. You... Mister Incredible is genuinely like a nuanced character. Yeah. Like as nuanced as you can get in an animated <laughs> movie. Like it's for kids, you know. Like he's, he's a, such yeah. a cool character. He's a guy going through a midlife crisis yeah. in a kids oh movie. Oh my god! Know? Yeah, it's so cool. Like, you can tell he's so a good brave. person, and it's really bothering him that he can't be as good of a person as he wants to be, but he realizes exactly. that he also has a kid and family, he also has a family to feed, so he goes works at this dead-end yeah. insurance job that he hates, right, while yeah. reminiscing about the old days with his, with his buddy, and, like, that's a really unique and character. He... And then he throws his boss through, like, eight <laughs> oh walls and God. breaks every bone in his body. <laughs> It's incredible. I love it. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awesome. This 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 is easily the darkest Pixar yeah. movie. Yeah, like, I really. don't I don't care that the main character technically like is in a coma in Soul. That movie isn't dark. This movie is goddamn <laughs> dark. Like it's it's holy shit. This scene where he. The scene where he like figures out what's going on and sees That's, the computer oh and all the God. other superheroes just die. That's such a oh my scene. god! When I was that shit shivers scene. down my down my down my back when I was a kid, yeah. and I remember it right now, and it's yeah. shivers down my back. The way it was presented, yeah. all those like quick cuts, like deceased, deceased, and then the robot destroyed, yeah, yeah, exactly. and the next guy deceased, deceased. I was like, holy fuck! Oh yeah, no, that's every, a really good scene. Every single scene in this movie is actual like cinematic genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's so well paced and like edited and shot and animated. It's. It's a perfect movie. Yeah, honestly. it's I love so it. good. I put it on I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch it after like, we finish talking. God damn it! I'm pu- I put it on right now. <laughs> good to- really goddamn good. Um, yeah. There's all, even like yeah. even outside of like the major plot points, there's little bits in it that I really love. Like there's this little montage mm-hmm. of him exercising with like trains, working out, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is really interesting because like <laughs> how exactly would a guy who's super strong, like super, has like supernatural super strength, would work out, right? So they don't they, they make him go to a train yard and he bench trains. He benches trains and it's just it's really yeah. cool. I thought that was really I, um the music in that scene is amazing yep, too. It is. Yeah. And you can tell like there's yeah. yeah there's really? like this one very minor scene where he's trying to get to work and his wife just sort of grabs him drags him back into back into into the house yeah. right <laughs> and as a kid you're like oh, okay whatever but like growing up it's because like him doing something he loves because he does like superhero work basically and he's working out and he's not going to do his dead end job he hates mm-hmm. he's genuinely despite the fact that yeah. he's in better shape he's generally just like more pleasant to be around as a result because he's doing what he loves right yeah exactly. so that's why his wife's yeah, is all yeah, over yeah. him all of a sudden I did not get that at all yeah. as a kid. Um, yeah. And now it like means so much yep. more, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like this movie is just gonna, it's gonna entertain children because yep. of the action scenes and the crazy story. Mm-hmm. And it's like genuinely like profound for adults. Yeah, as well. no, exactly. Just, just, uh, the very, it's, it's timeless. It's so everyone. ambitious yeah. as well. Just for Pixar, they're like, they're like, okay, all right. We had talking cars. We had talking robots. Let's have a guy in a midlife crisis. Yeah, exactly. Even though I totally probably what if, what the if timeline, adults had feelings? Yeah, basically. <laughs> what if adults yeah. had feelings? And yeah, and um, this movie is a very strong 
point towards me not com- completely hating CG animation, even though it's like killing 2D animation, which I love, <laughs> right? Fair enough. And I think Pixar is like a huge, huge culprit in, in terms of that. This was before. But no, this movie was, yeah. looks so good. It, it looks, looks and really good. So well animated. I can't imagine it in like 2D. It just, mm-hmm. I don't think it would. I don't know. I just can't imagine it in any other way. It's, it's also yeah. really funny how much me and Mark actually still like reference this movie to each other. Probably not nearly oh, as much yeah. as like Shrek 1 and Shrek 2. But like this is a close A-okay, contender, right? Yeah. Like because all of the dialogue is just so incredibly good. Um, yeah, like every every scene is like perfectly, every yeah. line is perfectly timed and delivered mm-hmm. and like written. Yeah. I can't believe we didn't bring up the the my evening is in danger thing yet. I think I can't believe we held <laughs> yeah, off for that long. It's great. But like, you, yeah, there's no real point to talk about it. It's great. People people can watch it out of context from Incredibles and be like, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I can't even really yeah, say exactly. why. Um, you don't need to say anything about this movie. Yeah, just watch it just, if you haven't it's already. So good. And that's it. Uh, the, yeah. We haven't even talked about. I the think villain. it's, I think it's dark. I think it's more mature than Zack Snyder's Watchmen. That's for sure. Because we made the Watchmen comparison. Yeah. I think it's a lot, yeah. a lot better Watchmen adaptation than Zack Snyder's actual mm. Watchmen adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the villain's a bit cartoony. Yeah. He's sort of like, er, I get revenge on you. But at the same time, no, he's great. I, I still love it's it. So I think it's funny. really well done. Yeah. But you were sorry. Yeah. You were talking about Buddy and like Tom Voyage sneaking out of the background. <laughs> that is really funny, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, and uh, so yeah, so Syndrome. Uh, what's really interesting about him is that his, what's very opposite from Toy Story Two is that his motivation is extremely simple. Where he yeah. looked up to Mr. Incredible as a kid, and Mr. Incredible told him to fuck off, and uh, he became super rich to just to fuck with him. That makes sense to me. Yeah, exactly. I don't see why not. It's great. It's awesome. Yeah. I also love that whole. Um... If everybody's super, no one is. Yeah, that's actually a really kind of cool. Like, yeah, kind of opened my eyes on something. Mm-hmm. I never thought of it that, that way. That is such a cool concept to bring up, yeah. especially in a kids movie. Like that—that that is, I've never really seen that done as well anywhere else, really. Hey, you forgot your mask. You <laughs> 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 forgot the mask. Uh, no, like uh, there's Frozone this one is scene. an amazing character. Frozen is so well. good. Is he's like he's like Robert De Niro in Goodfellas. He walks in in. <laughs> he's like the coolest yeah, like person in the coolest world. guy ever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, he's awesome. And like this, uh, um, I, I cannot just, we just can't not mention the scene where he's arguing with his wife. It's just, it's yeah. so good. I, uh, every time I remember it, I laugh. Um, Elastigirl, perfection. Yeah. Uh, we don't even need to say let's anything talk, else. Let's talk, let's, let's. The voice. The voice. The, the voice. The, um, uh, the, let's move what, on. The, let's move the, on. How good of a wife she is. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. She seems to genuinely try, act, act, yeah. like, try to be a really good mother and a good wife. Yeah, yeah good for her. Great character. Every yeah. character is just good. I do like the I, I do like the kids less than the parents, but they're Definitely still for decent. Sure. But like I they still serve, think, their, they they serve, have, they serve yeah. their purpose in the story. They have very fair... Like, everybody... Like, every character is, is, is unhappy with something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah and yeah. they have... Perf- I feel like their reasons for being unhappy are perfectly reasonable for kids. Like uh, mm-hmm. Dash, Dash wants to compete in sports, but he can't because he's different, right? Violet yeah. is just an emo bitch. I don't really know what her problem is, but <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. She's insecure. <laughs> she's insecure. Ah, f- good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Like she, f- yeah. it's it's interesting because she feels invisible and she can literally turn invisible. I was like, haha, very exactly, very clever. Yeah, 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 something like that. So yeah, uh, there's this little. Yeah. Qu- uh, there's not much else to say. It's just every every single part of this film is is brilliant. Um. There's one mm-hmm. thing, there's one minor thing I wanted to bring up about Syndrome that I thought was hilarious, where uh, in his introduction, he sort of has Mr. Incredible in his, um, in like the arms of his robot, right? And then, mm-hmm. and then, uh, and then as he's like narrating it, right? Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, he's like, don't you remember me, Mr. Incredible? And he goes, buddy. And he goes, my name's not buddy. And then as he's yelling at him, he, yeah. he sort of fiddles on his remote to have the, to have the, uh, robot oh, throw yeah, him. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> There's yeah, little yeah. things like that where he like fiddles with his remote for a second so that as he yells, the robot throws him. So it's more dramatic. <laughs> like it's so stupid, but it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's totally a him thing to it's do. That's really always such an entertaining villain. Yeah. Like, I love, what, what, the... sorry, go on. On. Yeah, go ahead. There's this one more okay. minor thing I bring up, just because Syndrome's so entertaining this on screen, where uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Incredible like sort of hides into, uh, goes into a uh, waterfall, and he hides behind another corpse, while Syndrome sends another thing, like a scanner, to try and mm-hmm. find, uh, try to identify, identify yeah. the corpse, right? And then as he and comes, he like looks at it smugly. He has such <laughs> a smug look. 
you know exactly the look I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, he has the yeah, smuggest yeah. little <laughs> smirk. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah that's ex- uh, that, that's all. Um, he's just he's really fun to watch on screen. I wanted to bring something up. I forgot what it is, though. Oh, I'm sure it sucks. God damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even, like, the small side characters are really memorable. Like, yeah. the little lady that's, like, crying in his office at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> like, the little old lady. It's like... Yeah, and then and then he, like, tries to help her out. She's like, and pretend I was mean to you. So she walks out crying. I don't know. That was yeah. really cool. And, like, yeah, his boss yeah. as well, also voiced out by the dinosaur from Toy Story. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and, like, and, like, yeah. And, like Dash's insane teacher as well. Is that coincidence? I think not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all the wider characters oh, so are good. great. Yeah. Yeah. And like Frozen, I had like it... the game. Sorry, go on. Where I had the game where you had to like sneak around the classroom. <laughs> Interesting. That was probably really boring. Like, yeah. there's this one scene I think about all the time where they're like saving bodies in a burning building, right? And um mm-hmm. and <laughs> Frozen. What's your <laughs> And Frozen like can't create any more ice, right? Because it, it, it's involved. It involves uh, condensation in the air, and fire takes away all the water in the air, right? So he's like, I can't make any more free. I can't freeze anymore. And, and Mr. Incredible goes, What? Well, why can't you use the water in the air? He goes, There is no water in this air. What's your excuse? Run out of muscle. <laughs> yeah. Like scenes like that. Such a good line. So good. Yeah. Like every, all of Frozen's lines are great. Everyone's lines are great. All the like, dialogue's great. Uh, like uh, when um when uh. Bob's boss walks into his cubicle mm-hmm. to yell at him, and then he walks out, and Bob's like pencil holders like fall to the ground. I don't know, <laughs> just, like, just little like little things like that. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly it's what you're so talking good. about. Yeah, it's uh, such yeah. a lived-in human yes. like movie. That's a really good way to put uh, it. The second one definitely feels like a polished product. Yeah. I Meanwhile, this agree. one feels like you're actually watching a family doing uh-huh. really fun things. You know, it's yep. yeah, it's great. Um, I don't have a lot. I don't have anything. Else I think to I'm say pretty much it. done as well. Yeah. Um, I'd rather I rather just watch it again. Than... I kind of just want to watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, do we want to go over final right, rankings, uh, or is that too much work? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Hold. I'll do mine. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna. Right, I'm gonna list them off right in a second. Yeah. So it goes. Um... Should I go? No. Oh. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> So it goes The Incredibles mm-hmm. as my favorite. Right. Or this is favorite, least favorite. Got it. The Incredibles, Ratatouille, Wally, Finding Nemo, uh, The Incredibles 2, Monsters Inc., Coco, Inside Out, Finding Dory, then Up, then Toy Story 3 and 4. Actually, no, Cars before Toy Story 3 and 4, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, Coco's surprisingly high up there, I guess. I did not expect that. Yeah, no, because Coco is much better than all these other ones, but it's still not very good. It's still not very good. Yeah, I will definitely admit yeah. that. So yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I'll just go over just the most important ones because the the rest after after pretty much Toy Story two are pretty much interchangeable. Um, interchangeable, with like some yeah. with like some that are arguably worse. Um, for me, it's Incredibles, okay. Wally, Monsters Inc., Nemo, Toy Story, Ratatouille, and Toy Story two. Actually, mm-hmm. I might switch Ratatouille and Toy Story if I'm thinking about it. The more I think about it. Um, could <laughs> sorry I, I knew I, I could hear the anger in yours i'm not to think about that for a bit i might have to rewatch both i definitely have a lot more connection to, to toy story um you, you know what's a good companion piece to ratatouille what's a good companion piece to ratatouille flushed away i don't know why i just equate <laughs> the two in my head because they're about rats i guess flushed away is amazing flushed away is surprising we watched it fairly recently and we had so much fun the time yeah, flew yeah. by yeah. The frog is so good. <laughs> That's such a good the frog. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, yeah with so my least we did favorite, our, we, with my we did least our rankings, right? Yeah, like yeah. that's pretty much the ranking. With like my least favorite, uh, Toy Story four, and my second least favorite, Up, and the rest are pretty interchangeable. Probably Incredibles two yeah. is probably the best of the ones I don't like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fair enough. But yeah, I can. That's pretty much it. So yeah, watch um, Incredibles and just, Wally. Those are the only two really yeah. must watches on this list, I'd say. And Ratatouille for Mark, I guess. And yeah, Nemo. Yeah, yeah. I want to, yeah, summarize everything real quick. Yes, so go this for was it. supposed to be about why modern Pixar is bad, but it kind of just turned into a <laughs> let's review every Pixar movie and rank them. Yeah. But anyways, the main point of this is that Pixar is now bad, and they were good. So yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, wow, very good mark. <laughs> but yeah, like it, and it's we re- kind of went over why they're now bad because their there recent we go. movies are bad, and we kind of explained why. So I, th- I think we did I think we did a fair job. enough job. Yeah, where um I remember this is I can't I don't remember the exact uh details of this, but I remember a lot of the primary creators they met up in a coffee shop and just came up with an, uh, with a few ideas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you know what exactly Wally was the last one. Wally was like the last one, and everything post Wally you can tell has a dramatic decrease in quality. And then being picked yeah, up by Disney made like, it even worse, in my mm-hmm. opinion. I really think they fell off right after Disney. Yeah, because every single one of their other movies is also... Well, no, they were always owned by Disney, I think. It's just kind of more noticeable recently. Oh, I, I was always under the impression Disney acquired them at some point. I might just be wrong. No, 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 no. They were, I think they were always owned by Disney. I apologize. They just kind of, I guess, had more creative control or something. I guess they just... Yeah, they just... Because they shuffle around the employees a lot. Yeah, days, that's so. true. And now modern Pixar movies are indistinguishable from those yeah. CG like Disney movies. You know, they're the same thing. Mm-hmm. Although I do think the CG Disney movies are worse. Actually, I don't even know if they're worse. They're kind of more similar than the Pixar ones, but still. Yeah, I know. It's very mean. sad. So yeah, yeah. like originally, uh, you can tell there was a lot of passion. The passion dried out, and it's very noticeable. That's pretty much the takeaway. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite Pixar short? Oh, oh, that's interesting. We can briefly talk about those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not Tin Toy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure those counts. Um, I don't know. I really want to say Bernie, actually, the Wally based one. I don't know oh, if you've yeah. seen. Th- I don't know if you've seen that Is one. Is that the one of the old man? No. Oh, that one's probably. That no, that's Jerry's probably, game. That one's really good. That really My impressive. God, that one's so good. Uh, like the one that's that's probably mm. their best one actually. That's really interesting you brought that one up because that's probably their best one because that one, that one's completely wordless and it says a lot. Oh my god, that yeah. one's so I depressing. Watch it again. That one's really good. Uh, yeah. But my t- most enjoyable Anyways, one uh, is just like this B story mm-hmm. with uh with an alternate robot on the ship from Wally called Bernie. Mm-hmm. It's not really good, oh, but I enjoyed it. And there's also Mike's new car, so, which is fun. Jack Jack Attack. Yeah. Go on. I'm sorry, I keep talking. No no no. I mean like they're they're like original shorts, you know. Yeah, those are their original shorts. Yeah, uh, anyways. But those are, like, based on movies. Uh, oh, I, I want to just mean. briefly oh, shout the out some, ones. some of the ones I like. Go on, go on. Um, so, I really like Lifted, which is the one with the fat <laughs> alien. With the... <laughs> That's really that one's good. so good, yeah. Um, they're us. For the Birds is, like, a classic. The one with the birds <laughs> on so the wire. Funny. Where oh there's just, like, this big dude, so and funny. he's just chilling, but everyone's so pissed off by his existence. Yeah, 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 I forgot yeah. about a lot of Ooh, these. These are really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Piper looks really good on like mm-hmm. a four K TV, but I don't think it's that special. Mm-hmm. That's the one with the birds on the shore running away from the waves. Right. I don't think um, I've actually seen that one. Float was really bad. That's the recent one. Mm. It's so manipulative. I don't think it's I've seen literally. Some of these. It's literally, hey, what if your child had a men- had a mental illness that made them different from everyone else, but instead of a mental illness, he floats, and it, like it's not clever at all. Interesting. It's like one of those, you know. I'm gonna have to watch these. It's that like very uh, interesting. It's like uh, it's like oh, it's metaphor, but it's most obvious shit in the oh, world. Oh, it's so it's metaphorical. Metaphor, because it's just yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that 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 said, bow is stupid. I don't like bow. Is that is that the dumpling one? That's the dumpling one. Like I like it, yeah. but also there's no, there's actually no reason for that thing to be a dumpling. Why is he a pig? There's no. I'm joking. Well, there's actually no reason. <laughs> but in for this him case, to be yeah. Yeah, in this case, there's actually and no reason also, for him to be a dumpling. This is a recent one. Kit Bull. It's 2D animated and wow. it's awesome. Interesting. It's great. I have to watch that one. And this last one is uh, Day and Night, which is like, do you know that one where it's like the silhouettes of two dudes and they're kind of like the silhouette is like the actual background and everything else is black. Interesting. That sounds it's interesting. Really cool. I haven't yeah, seen a lot of the modern ones. Yeah. Anyways, that's a, yeah, that's all I had to say. Um, Pixar yeah. now sucks, but was really good at some point. They mm-hmm. put out some bangers. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, I can't truly hate a, I can't truly hate a company that made any of the Incredibles. So uh, I just hope they find exactly. their footing again soon. Well, what I can because they're now they're a different company. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Good point. Now they're an entirely different. Like I wouldn't be surprised if like none of the same people are even. Also, I just looked it up. Disney acquired Pixar in two thousand six. So I think you can eat my dick. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> You're still welcome right, to eat anyways, it. Anyways, like, yeah. do you want to sign? Do you want to sign off? Yes, I think I will sign us off. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, goodbye, everyone. Thank Watch Incredibles. Listening. Thank you for listening. Watch Incredibles. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why you haven't watched it. Yeah, I, you, honestly, just turn this. Tur- you shouldn't have watched this podcast because this podcast is longer than Incredibles. You should have watched the Incredibles.
<laughs> this podcast is longer than our Miyazaki. <laughs> we wanted this one to be shorter. more more laid back than the Miyazaki, more sh- much shorter. But yeah. it's about half an hour longer. It was longer. more laid back. It was more laid back. I will That's admit that. It's longer. But it is half an hour longer. longer. We did not expect that. Yeah. All right. Anyways. All right. I am stopping recording. You shouldn't do that. Bye. I don't think. Well, uh...